Hello everyone, my name is Despair, otherwise known as Vespi, and we are back for the finale of Skies of Arcadia tonight. And man, it's been a long journey to get here. I'm honestly kind of surprised how long it's been since I started, like, I think I started this back in April. Like, I think I started this back in April, or maybe at the beginning of May. And, uh, it's, we're at August. So, it's been a long journey, but we are going to get through this tonight. Like, I don't care if this takes me eight hours. We're doing this tonight. Sorry, sorry it started a little bit late. Usually I start at 5, it started at 5.30. My apologies for that, because I had some stuff to do. But, I made sure we were gonna, we were gonna get this. But the thing is, we're not immediately going to the final dungeon. No, 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 no. We're gonna be going to fight some optional bosses. Because, bare minimum, there's... Two optional bosses that we can fight before we go fight before we go fight Ramirez in that big motherfucking thing right behind me. One of them is over here in the Lands of Ice above, and then another one is one that's been a long time coming. Uh, let me see. Where is Sailor's Island? Right there. But either way, uh, yeah, it's been a. Also, I let the opening loop a bit. Like, I loop, let it loop once because, one, I wanted to make sure as many, many people got here when they did. Also, what the fuck is that thing? Oh. Oh, fuck. Are these the random encounters now? Because, oh my god, this thing is actually kind of scary. Also, I need to... Oh, wait, I think it's my headphones. Yeah. Uh... Pirate's Wrath. Actually, you're Firebase? I think you're weak to... Again, I need to pull up the type chart because the game never tells me what the type chart is. Uh, type chart, type chart. Damn, I think I lost the type chart. Oh, nope, there it is. What's fire weak to? Fire is weak to... Purple. Uh, Pirate's Wrath. Just try and kill this thing. Boom! Oh! <laughs> But yeah, tonight is the finale of Skies of Arcadia, which is honestly kind of weird in my opinion. Like, it's weird how... Also, I need to do something else. I need to go to the bridge. Because now I need to actually find uh, Enrique, because I need to get him back on my team. Because even though Gilder's good, I think he's good, but uh, Enrique has just the shield. Which I know I'm going to be needing for some of these fights. I know I'm going to need Justice Shield. The problem is just finding him. But, uh, yeah. How's, every how's everybody's day been doing? Like, I, I know with mine, um... I've actually gotten into a new anime series, which is kind of odd, but... Um, I actually started getting into, uh, Black Clover. I know that one, uh, random... Random, uh, basically wizard Naruto anime. Uh, but I started getting into it mainly because, um, there really wasn't much else to watch because all my other shows are either on hiatus because of the virus going on around right now or, uh, just lack of interest. Like, I've been getting into some other, I've been getting into some other media. Like, I've been re reading some manga. Like, I started re reading the Fruit Basket manga just because there wasn't much, like, the show is currently on hiatus from what I've seen. And also, uh... Oh, there's Enrique. Okay, you are getting on my team right now. Please. Please. Uh, do you have... Do you still have the same items? Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you are so equipping that. Oh, yeah, you don't have any of your armor equipped. Uh, let's go with... 
Berserk mail to see what else you can get. Uh, probably the Robe of Faith. Yeah. And then I need to remember what the hell I want to give you with... Oh, Valuan Medallion. Negates Attorney Spells. Oh. To be perfectly honest, I'm probably going to want to give that to Dafina. Just maybe. Just maybe give that to Fina. Uh, it lowers your will by a shit ton, but really she's not attacking, so you're getting the Valuan Medallion because you are the only one who can reasonably get people up. Also, I need to... I need to give you uh, your blessed rope. Uh, actually, hmm. Lowers it by 18 points, but also you get 27 dodge. Ah, ah, man. I'm actually just going to stick with the silver armor with her. Actually, uh, mm, no, I'll put the bless robe on. Uh, Aika, what are you wearing? Oh, yeah, you're wearing the warrior's rune. Actually, I don't think you need that anymore. Because I remember she had that mainly because... Yeah, because her hit was kind of shaky with that one weapon. But now it's not so much. It improves her speed stats, so she'll basically go first. But she was already kind of doing that. What's Vice have equipped? Uh, Ancient Bracer. Oh, yeah, you're, you're still keeping that. Twenty defense. Yeah, you're you're gonna put that on. Yeah, the ancient bracer. I'll probably just keep. Oh wait, does do I have a white map? I think I do. Yeah, I do have a white map. I'll keep that in mind for later. When I don't want to really fight random encounters. Uh, Radiant Fur. Not really worth it. Okay, so Ike's keeping the Ancient Bracer. I probably should have done this last stream, but from what I remember last stream, one, I was a bit in a rush. And two, that was six hours. And this is probably going to be six hours, too. Fuck. Yeah, Balloon Medallion, you're going to keep the Blessed Robe. To be honest, I want to find one more... I want to find one more Cham, because I think... Just one more cham. One more cham and he'll level up. And then I can use that one cham that I have that instantly evolves him again. Uh, Enrique. Yeah, he didn't have anything equipped. So, I think the thing I'm going to put on him. Radiant Fur just as generic. Um, Jade Scroll Ring, not really needed. Sandstorm Ring gives him a little bit more offense, but his defense kind of suffers. Oh, wait, what about the Slayer Ring? Nah, he's fine. Okay, Robo Faith, Stone Blade, Radiant Fur. You mean a path of Radiant Fur? Ha. But, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll put this down as well. The ongoing poll for what game gets us... Okay, there you, are. there you go. Bot. I was wondering when you were going to actually work. Oh, they're all on the deck. Okay. Yeah, from what I saw, I believe... Yeah, Tales of Symphonia and Owlboy are tied. So Prince of Persia is kind of being left in the dust. I mean, not really. It's, it's only one more point to get tied. But, uh, yeah. As, as of right now, uh, that that's going to be a tie. And then... If it does end up in a tie, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply flip a coin. Like, that's all I'm going to do. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I, I found it, Reek. I don't need to go over here. Oh, 
Okay, so what we'll do is we're gonna go fight the bounty that I know, know we need to do, and then there's also one more fight with PS Saul. Ah, game, stop having a seizure. Take the wheel? Yep, I will. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to that doctor. Because I... Th How many moonfish do I got? I think I got a couple moonfish for him. I'm, and I'm really just hoping that one of the... One of the moonfish drops is going to be a sham. Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. I got one moonfish. Great. Fuck. Can this one moonfish be a sham, please? If I can even find where this doctor is. I think that's him. Yeah, that is him. Hi. Hey, did you see did you see that thing over there? It's fucking huge. Oh wait, it's evolving. Wow! That is fucking Jesus. Constitution gem. Well, I got it to evolve. So we at the very, very least got to see how it evolved. Uh, what's the Constitution Gem do? I'm assuming it's, uh... Yeah, it's... Prevents all adverse effects and boosts defense and magic defense? I w Okay, so I think that's going on Fina now. Like, yeah, the balloon medallion, but, uh... Lowers her defense by 20. But prevents all... Actually, wait. When it says all oh, adverse effects, that means she can't block... No, nah, okay. She's keeping the balloon medallion on. Um, Ica, can you take this? It'll give her more defense, but it'll lower her attack and hit. Prevents all adverse effects... To be honest, I'm probably just going to keep this... Like, I might just give the Constitution Gem to her... To, uh, Fina when we aren't doing random... When we are doing boss fights. Because just having her be able to use, a Lunar... Uh, Lunar... Uh, Lunar Light... Without having to worry about her turning to stone... Is going to be really fucking helpful. Also, I'm coming here just to see if the black spot showed up. It probably did. If it didn't, then I'm just wondering... Are we seriously... Seriously saving the uh final piesto fight for post game oh wait will it not show up unless i find more of these spots if that's the case i might just want to go The Gates of Death. <laughs> like, some of these clue names sound really cool. Like, I like I'm, I, I almost want a strange seed. Wow. Okay, there is a shit. I almost want to find these, just because these sound like really cool discoveries, but... Uh, do you have... Do you have the black spot? No, what? Wait a minute. Okay, I'm actually gonna... Oh, shit. I'm gonna look this up, because I was actually wanting to fight Piestal.
one sec. Wait, there's four PS doll fights? Uh oh. Oh, there's four PS fights. Okay. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, so the problem I, I didn't I thought I thought PS Doll was an entirely separate side quest. Yeah, oh hey Maris. Sorry, I was look I was looking at shit. Okay. So there's a problem that I discovered. I didn't look up a guide for this. I just re I just looked it up just because I wanted to fight PS Doll. But apparently in order to fight PS Stall, you need to collect all the moon fishes, which I thought was just an entirely separate side quest. No, it isn't. You need to get all the moon fishes in order to fight PS Stall. And I haven't been keeping track of what moon fishes I have and haven't gotten. Damn, I wanted to fight PS. I mean, this stream is probably going to go for six hours. I, pro I probably can look, look for moon fishes that I have gotten unless there's some that I missed did I miss some like is it or there actual missable moonfish how many have I been giving to her I think I have enough. I Let me go. No, wait. I didn't get the black spot. Unless I didn't. I just didn't notice. Do I have the black spot? Nope, I don't. Shit. I wanted to fight PSL 2. Okay, you know what? Um... Okay, so I. Hmm. Okay, I think I think there's one that I missed in Dine's base. Damn, I wanted to fight Piestal. That was gonna be a cool fight too. I mean we might not just we just might not be able to, because this is the this is the final stream. I'm not going to literally stop sh stop stream just for this like
Oh! I wasn't even looking for that. I was just talking to Daigo. Well, okay then. But damn, that kind of sucks. I didn't know that. I thought it was just going to be like a cool series of optional fights. I didn't realize you had to actually go looking for shit. And I did just make the bird evolve. Okay, so I already got... So yeah, I guess I'm going around to fight... I just thought she wouldn't show up until... I thought like this last... I thought like the third fight would be the last one. Apparently there's a fourth fight that I have to do with Piestol. So apparently there's one in here. So I guess we might just spend like the first like... Actually, if, if we're going to go around finding stuff, then let me actually just equip the white map. And we still have that other bounce. We still have like two other bosses to fight, not even counting Ramirez. So, dang, I'm I might have bit off more than I could chew. Very bottom of Dine's base. Yep, there's one. Oh, wrong button. Okay, so that's one I missed. So I'm, I'm not going to be able to look at Chad as much as I want to because I'm going to have to flip back and forth between this guy because I do want to do the PSL fight. That's bare minimum what I want to do in terms of, like, completionist stuff. Like, I'm not going to go find every cham. I'm not... I didn't think I would need to go find every moonfish, but now I have to. Okay, so... Two... Like, I'll switch back and forth between chat whenever, whenever I uh, need to, but... I'm hoping... Because I know I've gotten a ton of these champs, a ton of these moonfish already. Like, I've gotten... Uh, Enough to where I think I made the bird evolve, like, I want to say, like, five, four, like, three or four times now. Like, it's enough to where it's, it looks like it's taller than Vice. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we're going, since there isn't a fast travel function, we just have to keep running around. I'm just hoping I didn't miss any that that were missable. Because that's the one thing I that's the one thing I hate about Tales of Vesperia. Like Tales of Vesperia is my favorite is my favorite game of all time. It's the, it's rather obvious. But the one thing I do not like about it is the fact that side quest shit, oh my god. If you weren't using a guide, you weren't just going to miss it and then you can just never go back and get it. And it's stuff that you wouldn't even just think to go look at. Like um Like there's a side quest involving a spear where um if you miss one bit about it, and it's a, it's literally a game spanning side quest. It starts from the end, it starts from the beginning, and you have to do it all the way to the end game. You miss one bit of it, you can't get it. Okay, so I got that. Okay, so next up is Sailor's Island. And they're probably just gonna the people around here are probably just gonna go like, dude, what's the what's the fucking hold up? Like why aren't we why aren't we stopping the person who's about to launch the rage of destruction on the earth? I mean not the earth, on Arcadia. And I'm just gonna like, I want to fight this bitch, alright? Oh crap, is there 
there is one place that I'm hoping I don't have to go back to. I'm hoping I don't have to go ba back to that one place in the, uh, in the Dark Void. Like where I got, uh, Jonathan. I'm hoping there isn't a Moonfish in there. Because I hate going back in that place. Okay, so Sailor's Island. If you go around Holly. Okay, so I think I got this one already. Also, I need to turn low power mode off because it's just constantly turning my phone off. <sighs> so sorry if I'm not paying attention to chat as much. Like I said, I'm trying I'm trying to find these moonfish just so we can uh just so we can fight PS cell. I already got this one. So yes, I'm technically cheating since this is supposed to be a blind playthrough, but since it's blind, I didn't know that we were going to need to collect all these moonfish to, to fight PS doll. Like, I thought she would just randomly show up as an optional boss, but nope. You need to do a collectible hunt. Kind of sucks, in my opinion, but I'm not a game designer. Side so farthest from the level exit. At the very least, I think with the white map, I don't... I don't think I'll run into random encounters as much. Nope, nothing here. So I have to find all the moonfish. I need to fight Piestal twice. I need to fight that random bounty twice. I need to fight another boss. And then I need to fight Ramirez. So yeah, this is going to be a long stream. Like, this might be seven day plus hours. So I might be going into 2 a.m. Okay, I found another moonfish. Hi. I kind of wish the game kept track for you. Yeah, like, look how big this fucking thing is. Actually, wait. Hold on a sec. I can... Um, let me see the rewards I get. Okay, yeah. I've almost... I almost have them all. I almost have them all, because... I only need to find... One, two, three... I only need to find four more. Like, there's only four more I'm, I'm missing. Actually, no, five more. I'm missing five. Oh, is this a cutscene? Oh, hey. Thank you. Sorry, I was taking a sip of my drink. Okay, so I guess I can go fight Piesto now. Thank you, Vice. Piccolo says thank you, too. Yeah, holy shit, this thing's big. <laughs> His name is Piccolo, huh? Cute name. Tell him that I'll bring even more fish next time, okay? Yeah. Okay. Maria can actually talk to that bird? Sure seems sure seems like it. I don't know for sure though, but either way, it looks like they understand each other on some level. Now that I think about it, even her older older sister. Oh. Okay, so that's how they're connected. Okay. Um, Doc? 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was lost in thought. Doc, please, tell me about Ramirez. When you first knew him, I must know. I didn't know what happened to him. What changed him so? Hmm, sounds like you've got some pretty personal reasons for wanting to know. So, that that's her lost sister. That, that's not even... I guess that's kind of a spoiler since they're connected somehow. Like, finding these Moonfish and Piestal fights. So that's how they're connected. Very well, I told you about how Ramirez and I met, right? Well, soon after that, we were sent to Ixataka just after Valu had begun to, to occupy the area. So that makes sense. What's wrong, Ramirez? Ever since we got to Ixataka, you've looked troubled. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. Well, if I may speak freely, I feel that Valu is, in its, is wrong in its ways, in the way it treats the Ixatakans. Hey, wait a minute there, Ramirez. Putting the people into slavery, forcing them to mine for moonstones, and all for Valua's profit? It's horrible. Ramirez. Ramirez, you're absolutely right. I, as a father, too, feel the same way. I feel a sadness deep in my heart for the plight of the people of Exitaka. How's this, then? I will personally express those grievances to the Empress herself. Let me deal with it, Ramirez. Okay, the, the, I, pieces are falling together. Thank you, my lord. One day, we ran into Admiral Galcian in Exitaka. Back then, Lord Galcian was still just another admiral in the Armada, but stories of his military prowess were spreading rapidly. Actually, the reason why Valua had so easily conquered Ixataka and occupied it, it was due to great military feats of Lord Galcian. Of course, Ramirez went, went, went straight to Galcian, being the root of all the e evils in Ixataka. Lord Galcian, how can you treat the Ixatakans like this? It's despicable! R Ramirez, you can't talk like that to an admiral! Stay out of this room, Do Doc. This has nothing to do with you. No matter what happens, I know Admiral Mendoza will stand up for me. Admiral Mendoza? <laughs> Fool. What did you say? How dare you speak ill of Admiral Mendoza? I will not stand here and let you tarnish, uh, tarnish his honor. It was not Mendoza that I called a fool. It is you, boy, who follow him so blindly that is the fool. What did you say? People are not to be trusted. Depend on a person too much and they will betray your trust sooner or later. I only believe in power. Power will never betray you. And that is why I search this land for an even greater power. And if such power exists, I swear it shall be mine. You will someday understand the meaning of my words. When that day comes, I'll be awaiting you. Okay, so I can go fight Piestal. That was the first time Ramirez and Galcian had ever met. If I had only stopped Ramirez back then, things may have turned out much differently. Uncle Doc? Wait a second, Maria. I'll be there. <laughs> Ever since she started talking again, Maria stopped using the bell, and now she calls me by my by name. And it always makes me feel weak in the knees whenever she calls me uncle. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for those pretty little eyes. All right, we'll get out of your way. You're probably busy anyway. We'll talk more about Ramirez some other time, okay? Sure thing. And don't forget to bring more moonfish. Don't worry, I'm hunting for them right now, because uh, guess what? I didn't realize I needed to do this to fight Piestal. Uh, what's defensive aura do? Actually, wait, is that an item? Uh, no, it's not an item. Is it a piece of armor? No, it's a, it's a it's an accessory. R renders the wearer invulnerable to normal attacks. I mean, that sounds cool, but. In Reality, that's actually kind of the like how good that's actually a lot of defense. Actually, wait, no, the reason it's a lot of defense is because he has the white map equipped. Okay, uh, let me look at Enrique. He has like a defense, yeah, like how much defense are we talking here? I mean, that's kind of a decent chunk of defense, but. Okay, so now I now I assume if I go back to Sailor's Island right now, a black spot's gonna appear. Also, I don't know how how high of level Piestal is gonna be. So there's so I have to go find five more Moonfish, and I have to fight Piestal twice, then I have to fight two more bounties, and I have to fight Ramirez, not even counting all the travel time and the dungeon. Yeah, like leave. Oh, wait, what?
Okay. Am I just not going to get the black spot? Okay, am, am I mistaken? Or do I literally have to let time pass? Or do I have to go fight those bounties, I guess? Like, I honestly don't know how you fight PS at this point then. One sec, I'm just trying to I'm just honestly just trying to find how you even fight PS doll. Oh man, this is... Are you sure are you sure you don't have one? He didn't give me one. Yeah, I I don't have the black spot. Yeah, I, I just straight up don't have a black spot. Huh. I mean... I mean, go west of Sailor's Island. Let me see if there's... Let me see if she's even around here. I have the white map equipped, so I don't have to worry about anybody spawning on me. No, that's not her. And at this point, I'll just be heading into Ixataka. I, yeah, I guess, yeah, like, maybe I need to fight the one bounty that I haven't, because there's two bounties I need to do. There's one in the Iceland, and then there's one inside Soltis, because that's where the last bounty is. Uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll go fight that one bounty real quick, like, go fight him and see if I 
that's all I need to do. Because apparently he's, like, right above the Icelands. So, I'm hoping that that gets PS Stall to come out. I'm Fuck, will I have to fight the last Bounty in Saltus, then walk out? Oh, God, no. Please don't tell me I have to do that. Oh, boy, that's going to give me a headache. Yeah, I, I, like, I looked up where these bounties were. I didn't look up where Piestal was, because I thought I would just fight her, like, right off the bat, but apparently I'm not. Yeah, apparently this guy is somewhere around the Iceland above sky. Yep, there he is. At least I think that's him. Like, apparently he's some rich... He's some rich git. Like, he just goes like, Oh, hey, I'm the richest person in the world. I, I'll just pay you if you leave me the fuck alone. No. Okay, heal everybody up. Uh, save? I don't know how this fight's gonna go, but... Uh, let's try it. Oh, yep, it's him. Oh, so this is the ship of the infamous Vice, eh? Not bad, not bad. Of course I would have it painted in gold and purple. Gold makes everything look better. One sec. Okay. Vice, over there. Oh, he's on a monarchy Neko. Hello there. <laughs> what the fuck voice was that? Vice, I presume? My name is Daikokyu. Dai da oh, okay. Daikokuya? Daikokuya. I think that's his name. Very nice. Finally, very nice to finally meet your acquaintance. What? You mean to tell me that you're the same Daiko... Daiko Kuya that's... I'm just gonna call him Daiko. That's what I'm doing. That's That's got a bounty on his head? As the wealthiest man in Yafutoma, I lived a life of luxury. I have no want of material possessions, and yet I feel unsatisfied. Then I heard about your adventures in Yafutoma. I realized then that the life of an air pirate was the life I had been craving. So I bought a ship, got together a crew, and built this machine, Tama, for my personal use. I wanted to travel the skies in search of fun and excitement, just like you, Vice. <sighs> well, it's not all fun and games, you know. Nevertheless, I believe that it was fate that we have met this day. I think your head would make a fine trophy for me to take home. <laughs> Sounds good. Only problem is you have to beat me first. <laughs> Fool, there's nothing in this world that money can't buy. Very well. On guard, Vice. I shall make you remember this day. Yeah. What type of voice is that? <laughs> okay, so he has a couple he has a couple peons with him. Okay, so he all of them are water based. What's what are we doing again? Yeah, I have to pull up the this thing. Okay, so uh actually yeah, pur purple does it. Okay, so let me get rid of these guys. Uh, focus, uh, just a shield. <laughs> like, just start doing some damage and also just getting some SP up. Okay, good. He went for the sleep spell. You son of a bitch. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, these guys are kind of tough. Ow! <laughs> that kind of hurts! Okay, so use a... Use a Glyph of Speed, keep using Delta Shield, you keep focusing, just a shield. I believe it's called the Sick Mit- what? <laughs> okay, good, I actually- yeah, I, I didn't- I didn't attack this turn, so... Okay, so get the Glyph of Speed up. And then next turn, I'm gonna drop or a val the uh, the uh, actually no, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. That's asking for a death sentence. Just have Vice start using glyphs of might on everybody. Like this is literally all I'm doing for the fight. Like I'm just getting every. I'm just keeping up my shields, getting buffs off, and then I'm probably just gonna fire prophecy. Golden Flurry. Ow. Okay, Confusion. I'm hoping he gets rid of that by the end of next turn. Man, they do not like Fina. Yeah, they are just not a fan of Fina. To the point where she's gonna have to use Lunar Light this turn. Yeah, she's gonna have to use Lunar Light. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is use a Glyph of Might on Fina. You keep using Delta Shield. And you use Lunar Light. So we are a bit in danger. We are a we are a bit in danger, mainly because I don't have just a shield up. I'm hoping he just uses sleep. Or that works too. Ow! Fuck, that hurts! Okay, so you use a Sacralin Crystal. Also, I just realized going into this boss fight. Oh, oh wait, can I? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Where is it? Ancient Bracer. Okay, I had the white map on Vice. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, Sacralin Crystal on Enrique. You keep using Delta Shield. You actually use the Glyph of Might on, on Enrique. Get everybody buffed. Here we go. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. Make the ball go Please get that soccer line crystal. You sons of bitches! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Fuck! Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. Let's try this. Okay, I can use Lunar Light, get everybody back up, but I am susceptible to sleep spell now. Okay, Lunar Light, get everybody back up. Uh, use a Glyph of Might on... Actually, actually, wait, does Lunar Light get people back up? I think it does. Yeah, it revives. Yeah, it does. Uh, use a Glyph of Might on 
Ika when she gets back up. Thankfully, I've been stockpiling SP, so I can just get everybody... I just realized I'm not using Justice Shield. Fuck! Oh god, god no, please, please, please! I didn't realize he had a Turnus! Whew! Whew! Made me sweat there for a second. This should work. Whew. That was close. Okay, so everybody has a defense buff. Just start going after these guys to get them off the field. Um honestly use a soccerland crystal on Vice, just keep the shields up. Now that I know he has a turn us, I'm definitely keeping Delta Shield up. Don't you confuse you, fuck. I might just want to equip her with something that nulls confusion. Because I need null confusion at this point. Wait, does that, does that wake her up? I think that wakes her up. No, it didn't. It didn't wake her up. Oh boy, this is kind of bad. This is really fucking bad. Soccer and Crystal... Damn, I gotta use a Curio Crystal to get her back up. I got, I have to use a Curio Crystal. No, wait, it she did get back up. She got back up from that. Okay, honestly, Vice, you just focus. We just need to get to fucking, uh... We just really, really need to get to, uh... To Prophecy. Like, we just need to fire a Prophecy at this point just to get rid of the fucking Small Fry. Also, I forgot to give her a Confuse Resist. Like, I'm just getting unlucky with these Confuses. Actually, no, at this point, I just need to use Colosphere just to get rid of the, the, the fucking Small Fry, because they're the problem. Actually, I'm not even sure if he can resummon them. Okay, yeah, Colors Fury, get rid of one of them. Focus. Just a shield. Ever since I discovered this combo, this is the way I fight bosses. You son of a bitch. Yeah, Fuck! Ah, damn it. <laughs> okay, he... Oh, good, he just... He, he, he at least still... Okay, that woke up Vice. That, act that actually... That counterattack actually helped. Okay, so at this point, I think all I can do is just, like, use a Sockrum Crystal with Vice. Use a Sockrum Crystal, get the shields up, keep focusing, and then I just have to use Prophecy. Like, that's the only way I can see about just making this easy easier for myself. You better not use that fucking money money attack, you son of a bitch. Wait, can you, you can heal yourself? Okay, I thought for a second you could heal yourself. Can I get that Stockham Crystal? Okay, so I think next turn I'll have enough for Prophecy. Actually, wait, will I just be short? I, th I think I'm gonna, just, gonna be just short of using Prophecy. Yeah, I'm just short of it.
Focus. Uh, just a shield. Again, just keep up the keep up those shields. Use prophecy, and then just hope for the best. <laughs> Like, I just need to do enough damage to him to... Here we go. You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! I hate that stupid move. You son of a bitch, I hate you so much. I hate... Please do not confuse Vice. Okay, you confused Ica. Prophecy's gonna proc... Actually, wait. Can I use it while someone's confused? Fuck, I didn't realize that. I don't know if I can. Wake her up. Damn it. I'm not sure if I can use Prophecy if someone is status. Oh, wait. No, I can only use the Blue Rogues. Damn it. Okay, so I have to I have to wake her up. Okay, so at this point, I think... Use another Socken Crystal. Um, Lunar Light's going to set me back too far. Damn. Actually, this is kind of bad. Fuck. I might just want to use the crew special because I think that will either... I think with the crew I have, I think it'll wake her up. And I think it'll do enough damage to get rid of the peons. I really want to use... Pro okay, so... Okay, first, Cutlass Fury this guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to use Lunar Light. Like, just to heal myself up and just to get everybody under Justice Shield. Like, I won't be able to use Prophecy just yet, but I will be able to get her with one Peon. Also, I need to I need to use Quick on her. <laughs> like, I just really, really need to get rid of one of these fucking Peons. Oh, no. That's what I was worrying about. That was what I was worrying about. That was what I was worrying about. Oh, fuck. <sighs> oh, boy. Okay. Two bullets dodged. Two bullets dodged. Whew. Fuck, that was close. Okay, so focus. Put the shields up. Just try and get back to prophecy as fast as possible. Whew, man, that was close. That was really fucking close. <laughs> He seems to know to use a Turnus whenever I don't have Ica up. No, it fucking doesn't. God damn it. Wake up, Fina. Hit Fina, please. Why are you even using that on him? He hasn't been hit. Please wake Fina up. Wind slasher direction, please. Okay, good. He is waking. He is waking up, Fina. Damn it! I don't have prophecy. Yeah, she didn't focus. Fuck. And she's nearly dead too. Fuck. Oh man, this is that's kind of annoying. Actually, you know what? I just realized what what I have to do. Okay, so um, use a soccer crystal. Use Delta Shield. Use Lunar Blessing. Actually, no. Okay, she doesn't need a Sacrum Crystal. She, I mean, we don't need a Sacrum Crystal. We need a Sacrum Lang Crystal on her. Uh, Delta Shield, Lunar Blessing, and Justice Shield. Like, just get, get some auto-healing off, just so we can... Just so we can survive a little bit easier. I'm just not getting this prophecy off. Just because he keeps confusing someone at the worst time. He, he has a basic attack? I didn't know he had that. Oh man, that hurt. Please do not attack her. Okay, you're, you, again, you're just being stupid healing bitch. I don't know why you're doing that. 
Maybe he's programmed just to heal if anybody's low health, including himself, but for some reason he's not healing himself. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so at this point, um, use the soccer link crystal on yourself, Vice. Uh, again, just keep the shields up. Focus. I'm not going to have it next turn, but I think I'll have it the following turn if nothing bad happens. Also, just realized I don't need to even... You son of a bitch! Ah, go God, I hate that move so much. I hate it. Okay, so at the very least, Vice wasn't confused, but Fina was confused, which is something I really don't like. Here goes. Also, Justice Shield won't be... Uh, unless, unless this guy wins Slashes and Reek, which I really hope he does. Good, F Fina just doesn't have any... Op okay, and Reek got up, thank God. Okay, focus... Actually, no, you gotta use a cure. You, you gotta wake her up. Fuck. Damn it. Okay. Uh, yeah, just... Yeah, this is, this is the only, this is the only way I've been really surviving. Like, just using Justice and Delta Shield. But I keep getting unlucky with this stupid confuse, confuse bullshit. Bullshit. So, next turn, I need to put a confuse, a confuse immunity accessory on, uh, Fina. I actually hit him pretty hard. Thank you, Fina. You don't do any damage. <laughs> I think that was a wa waste of getting of using the cure. Nah, yeah, she she just woke up. This fight's a lot longer than I thought it would be. I think I get prophecy. Yes, I do. Okay, prophecy time. Fuck all of you. All of you! Fuck you, you stupid Monarchy Nego riding piece of shit! Oh, taste the moon, motherfucker! That did. That actually did less than I thought. To be honest, I'm probably just gonna go back to Cutlass Fearing him. Like, just basic attack him, and just keep the shields up. Okay, yeah, he, he can just straight up summon them again, which is kind of annoying, but... So I'm not even going to waste my time at this point getting Prophecy up. Like, I'm just going to... I'm just going to start spamming attack with Vice on this guy. Okay, Cutlass Fury. Delta Shield. Focus. Yeah, at this point, this is my strategy. Just... Using Cutlass Fear with Vice and uh, keeping the shields up. Again, I keep forgetting to put put a fucking Confuse Immune accessory on Fina. Because she's the one who can get people up in a pinch. That was the last thing I needed to see. Fuck. Please tell me you can't use that on him. I might just want to kill that guy now. Yeah, I'm actually going to do some damage to him just so he will just like spam his uh, other shit because I do not want him using that power potion on him. I 
Again, I keep. Okay. I don't. I don't care. You stupid. You stupid, stupid man. He can summon two of them. Yeah, that's not even worth trying to get him killed. Like he, he, he's gonna take multiple Cutlass Furies. Okay, hold on a second. Use the shields. Items. Is there... Do I have something that just straight up... I mean, I have the... Def I think I have the Constitution Gem. Oh yeah, that's how, that's how Fina's been avoiding it. She has the Valuan Medallion. But I'm going to want to put the Constitution Gem on. Just making sure. She still has it equipped, right? So if either of these guys use the power potion, that money move is going to hit even harder. And also it's going to take even longer to kill him. Oh good, they skipped their turn. Okay. Can I use Pirate's Wrath? Yeah, I can. I think I can? Yes, I can. Okay, good. That's gonna do even more damage. Pirate's Wrath? Let's fucking go! Yeah, the Silvite Ring makes me immune to death, but it, but it just straight up... Okay, he just straight up summons more bodyguards than two. If you summon a third one of those guys... Are you kidding me? They better not be... Okay, the one thing I'm worried about now is those guys can heal can heal him. That's the... I'm worried that he can be healed by these guys. Yeah, I know the Silphite Ring makes you immune to death, but the Balloon Medallion just straight up has better defenses. And right now, I just want to make sure Fina doesn't get confused, because if I have a stockpile of SP, she can use Lunar Light, and bare minimum just make it to where it's somewhat easy to block. <laughs> Actually, to be early honest, I might just want to put that on in Reef, just because with just a shield, like, it'll be easier to block it. Please don't tell me you can heal heal your master. Okay, good. Good. Waste your turns healing each other. Th thank you. Waste your turns doing that. Don't attack me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> thank you. You can waste your turns doing that all you want. I do not care about you guys. Yowch! <laughs> you better get me the fight with Piestal too. Actually, if this, I'm kind of worried I'm not high enough level to even fight Piestal. I mean, this will be these these optional fights will be good XP for Ramirez because. Okay, so Fina. Fina should be able to tank this. Okay, she won't get confused. That is literally the worst possible outcome. Oh no. Oh no. One of you wake up, please. Okay, I kind of wish you would have actually attacked one of them. 
<laughs> Please, one of you. Okay, Enrique woke up. So if he does it again, I can tank it. But now I'm kind of worried about me just surviving. Okay, so I gotta take the turn off and just wake her up. Please, for the love of God, do not use Eternus. I have no idea what the fuck is up with these things AI. Like, they're all fully healed. They're just spamming Socrates crystals on themselves. I think you're healthy enough. I think you have enough health. But if you're going to keep doing that, I'm perfectly fine with you uh, just being stupid. <laughs> Okay, so Electro Electrolin is going to hurt. Boy, I can tank it. Oh yeah, I took that like a fucking champ. Yeah, that, that did nothing. Okay, so I can actually use Pirate's Wrath. I think Pirate's Wrath will actually just straight up kill him. But I'm I'm keeping with my strategy. I'm not I'm not about to give this guy an inch. <laughs> Again, you can keep spamming that all you want. It's not gonna help you. Like if you were spamming it on the, on the boss, then yeah, that would be fucking annoying as hell. Like, you would essentially be getting 3,000 HP back a turn. But you spamming it on yourselves, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> you can keep spamming it on... <laughs> the, the boss is probably just going like, you are so not getting a fucking paycheck. Yep, Pirate Tractor straight up killed him. And that's not even... Okay, so that's not even the end of the fight. I have to actually kill these guys. Um, Reign of Swords. Fuck, I can't use Omega Cyclone. Okay, Reign of Swords in the Lambda Burst. Let's see what this fucking does. Oh, now you fucking attack! After the fight is already done! <laughs> okay, yeah, I think these things' AIs are broken. I think... I think they want to heal anything with low HP, but for some reason they're programmed to where they can't heal the boss. Over there. I don't know why, but that's the case. Okay, Lambda Burst did Jack all. What about Reign of Swords? That eh, did a decent li little, but not worth it. Um, just start ganging up on one. Uh, Sockham Crystal? <sighs> to be perfectly honest, I'm kind of, kind of worried about Ika surviving this, because these things act, these guys actually hit hard. <laughs> sure, waste your turn using a speed potion that doesn't... Damn it, we're, we're attacking one that's guarding. Great. These guys actually kind of hurt. Like, I almost want to use Drill Nos. Actually, wait, I, I have the perfect strategy. Just save up for a Prophecy. Prophecy actually absolutely murders these guys. So yeah, just everybody but uh, Enrique focus, and Enrique can use Justice Shield. Yeah, that's the perfect strategy. Just save up for save up for a prophecy, and it. I think I think prophecy also pierces defense. To my better knowledge, I think. Okay, uh, focus. 
Uh, defend, why not? Actually, def I don't think that even matters, so... Okay, so... Just... Just defend. Like, don't even bother. So yeah, just prophecy and they're dead. Bye-bye, motherfuckers! God, it's, it's like using Bahamut Zero twice in Final Fantasy VII. You just go like, I mean, I already shot a laser that probably destroyed an entire village, but I'll do it again. Like, the people at Sultus probably go like, fuck, is he already using it? Oh, no, wait. That's that's just Vice and the crew using Prophecy. Never mind. Never mind. False alarm. Yeah, I got some level ups. And also got a shit ton of coin. Ferox Idol. What the fuck is that? Oh, wait, that's probably something I could sell. I give up. You win. I wouldn't have expected any less of you. I think I'm smitten with you. That power, that strength, I guess there really are things in this world that money can't buy. You've learned quite an important lesson, so why don't you just stop wasting your money and quietly go home? You are speaking to the one and only Daiko. Oh, wait. Oh, th that's that's him speaking. You're speaking to the one and only Daiko. While I promise to cause no more trouble, I will not, not discount my travels around the world. <laughs> You're an energetic, an energetic old guy, aren't you? Well, well, if it isn't Vice, we managed to get ourselves lost in this frigid place. I'm frozen stiff. I was hoping that you would warm me up, Vice. W warm you up? Yeah, you're joking, right? Wait, what? Only partly we gotta... Why do you say, well, well, isn't it... Oh, okay, that's weird. I guess this means I found yet another thing that money can't buy. <laughs> well, Vice, you sure are popular these days. All hands on deck. Prepare for emergency escape. I'm fucking out of here! <laughs> I'm just expecting the Looney Tunes fade out. Like, I'm halfway expecting that at this point. Okay, we managed to fight him. Uh, let's go back to Sailor Island and uh, see if Piestal showed up. If she didn't, that means I actually have to go hunt down these Moonfish. We're already an hour. We're we're an hour and a half in stream, and we haven't even we haven't even gotten to the final dungeon yet, which is literally right in front of us. I can go do it any time, but fuck it, this is gonna be a long haul, folks. Oh god, I might have to actually split this up into two parts. Oh god, imagine if I actually waited to fight fucking uh, Galcian. Like Galcian before I did this, like I like I waited to, to not only fight Galcian but also do his dungeon. This would have been easily ten hours. Oh my god! Just no. <laughs> I'm I'm heaving. I'm seething at the thought. Just no. I do not want to do a ten hour stream. Oh wait, fuck! I need to put the white map back on. Shit. Please just be weak enemies I can kill with one cyclone. Yes, they are. Uh, well, first off, put white, put red back on. Uh, hey, Ika, do your thing. Yeah, I gotta put, I gotta put the white map, white map back on Vice. Uh, also, Fina, I need to put back on uh, the uh, blue and medallion.
Really? There are ships by Valua that are still attacking me? Buddy, Valua's done! It was literally blown to smithereens! Why are you still attacking me? <laughs> okay, so... Oh. That might have been a sign that something new showed up. Because that usually only happens when something new happens at, like, a place. So, I might have just gotten the black spot. Nope, I didn't. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck. Okay. So, either A, I need to go into Soltis and fight the one bounty I need to do left, or B, I need to find all the moonfish. Possibly both. Also, what's this thing that I can sell? Actually, wait. Is that something I could... I don't, I don't know if I needed that for something else, but I'm not really giving a shit about it. Okay, 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 okay. Well, first off, let me go s sleep at the end and just heal up. Second off, I need to open up that guide again because I need to go find all these moonfish. So sorry if I won't be, like, uh, actually, uh, here's, here's the thing, uh, that you can do, Maris, if you're here. Uh, if you, if you need me, if you honestly need me, just, like, use, like, uh, one of the commands. Like, uh, use, uh, nut, or heck, you can even just at me. Because I am gonna be mostly looking at this guy just because I need to see it. Like, I'll, I'll peek back in every once in a while, but if you, if you literally just go, like, hey, I, hey, they're, people are talking or like I want to talk to you just at me or just like use uh, use a command like this like just use uh... yeah just just use that it does have a cooldown so uh, if you if you need to say something you you'll have to wait like a minute 30 in order to use it again but right now I need to go around in Mind. I even have to go back through the dungeons. I have to go back through the dungeons to find these things. Just to check because I can't... I don't even know if I have it or not. Okay, so... First place up is Maramba. Fuck. Okay, this is this is gonna be a bit annoying, but I'll t I'm I'm gonna do it. I really really want to fight Piesel, like that is a fight I want to do because like it, it's like one of the main fights in the story. Okay, the first one. Oh wait, wait, I'll still check. Okay, so there is one here. I'm honestly going to leave dungeon looking for last. Like, I'll go to the towns first, and then I'm going to go to the dungeons. So, also, I honestly just need to open up this separate one. Then. Then get to have. So 
so I'll get the idol, and then I'll get fiber mail. So, so I'm at 20 of 24. I think, I, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I already got this one. But I'm checking just in case. I'm still checking. So any dungeons, I'm just going to leave for the very last. I'm just hoping to God that I didn't miss one in one of those dungeons. Please tell me I didn't. Oh, boy. I think this is the weapon shop. Fairly certain that's a weapon shop. Oh man, this is gonna be so, this is gonna be annoying. This is gonna be annoying. Oh my god. Fuck it up. Actually, wait, is the Temple of Perm the only dungeon that might have some? Nope, the Ruins of Ice, Mount Kazai. Looks like literally every single dungeon. Fuck! God damn it. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun! I, you know, I'm gonna check real quick. Was that the weapon shop? I think that was the weapon shop. If it is, then I didn't get any blips going off. Where is... Actually, that, that, did I ever get that chest? Yeah, I did. I wasn't going to go back for it. No way. At this point. So, is this the weapon shop? No, it isn't. Two red poles by the weapon shop. Oh, this is the weapon shop. Even then, I'm not hearing any moonfish. I'm, just, I'm going to assume it. I'm going to assume... Okay, so I'm just going to head back to Temple Pern right now, just because, fuck it. We are in here for the long haul, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. <laughs> Every time I do get a Moonfish, I am going to go back to talk to him. Mainly because I want to see if I can fight Fiesta. Like, just get the third fight out of the way, because I still... Actually, wait, did I already... I think I did. I th wait a minute. Is this the. F wait a minute. 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 Wait a gosh darn minute. Did I already do the. F Fuck. My memory is that bad. Did I already do the third fight? I think I did. Wait a gosh darn minute. Did I already do the third fight? Because, you know, the first one I did with Drachma, the second one I did with, uh... Honestly, I can't remember if I did the third fight. Fuck! Yeah, feed, feed, feed the burnt the moonfish. Evolve into a Gyarados already, goddammit. Then I need 22 of them, and that was the 20th? That was the 20th thing I got? Yeah, that was the 20th thing I got, so I need two I need two more things. I need two more Moonfish, so... I guess head to the Temple of Pyron. That's the only place I can think of. 
So I guess we're doing a little bit of a road trip around the entirety of the continents. Who the fuck are you? Oh. Get out of my way. At the very least, this shouldn't take too long. Because, because I have the white map equipped. Meaning I won't get into random encounters. Or at the very least, I shouldn't get into random encounters. Like, unless it's like a really tough enemy. Also, I realized something. Did I? Wait. Who the... Oh, that is a random encounter. Didn't realize that. I kind of just realized something. Did... Are we just going to leave the Gigas? Like, like, like the blue, like the red and green Gigas? Are we just going to leave them behind? Or are those like optional bosses we can go back and fight? Because if they are, fuck that! I'm not doing that right now. Like, I just want to get the bounties and PS stall. That's it. Okay, so... Yeah, I think I already got this. And also, to be brutally honest, uh, am I able to use save states? Yes, I can. I, I can't actually use save states. So for the sake of time, what I'm going to do is I'm honestly going to go and uh, just... I'm, go I'm going to use a save state just so, like, if I don't find it in here, I'm just going to be able to save state back. So let me just make a save state. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna use a save state because this is going to this is going to take me far too long finding this, and it, like if I can't, if I don't find him in here, then I'll just save state immediately back to the entrance. I mean, this is going to be long enough just trying to get back, like, just walking around here, but trying to get back is just going to make it even longer. What? I have the white map equipped. Are you kidding me? Do I still have to fight enemies in here? Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. That, that just makes this even even longer. Even if I get levels, I'm not, I'm not going to... Hey, Seleth. How you doing? Currently, I'm busy trying to find all the moonfish because I didn't realize you needed to collect them to fight Piestal, which is what I really wanted to do. So, I'm having to look at a guide to find all the moonfish that I missed because I got a good chunk of them. I got like 20 of them, but I need 24. Okay, so this is... Like, I haven't wanted to... I haven't wanted to use save states, like, at all. But, but I really want to do the fight with Piestal. 
That's the main thing I wanted to do. But I didn't realize you need to find all the moon moonfish. If I realized that from the beginning, but I've been playing this blind, uh, I would have I would have been using a guide. Like I would have been using a guide just so I can fight Piestel. Okay, so I think this is the spot where this first moonfish is talking about. Uh, Okay, so I think I I think I already have that moonfish, but I'll go back and check anyway, because it's not gonna take me too long to get it. Like this. Sell off, I'm, ju I'm just warning you right now if, if you want to be staying for this whole thing. Uh, we're going to be here for probably like eight hours. We're going to be here for a long ass time. Oh yeah, I never, ex I didn't explore this area. Uh, this, I might have missed it then. I never explored this area. No, I did- I- I did the puzzle. I guess this was just another entrance? Like, I'm- this is the finale tonight, so if this is gonna take eight hours, I'm willing to suffer through it, but I- I don't want anybody else to fuck their sleep schedule. Like, my, my sleep schedule's already fucked. I woke up at 2 p- I wake up at 2 p.m. when I fall asleep at 6 a.m. Oh, wait, I already got that. I didn't expect I would have to go back through all these areas, though, which was the annoying part. Like, I thought this m might be, like, five or six hours, but no, we're going to be going for the long haul, just because I need to go back through these just to check and see if I missed, missed these moonfish. Damn it. And I can't retreat from these because they're low in my rank. Ha! You think what the- Actually, wait, do I even have the white map equipped? I think I do. Yeah, I do have the white map equipped, but I'm still running into random encounters because reasons. I don't know. The game fucking hates me. Oh, wait, is it because of, like these lava things? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, if you're, if you're at work, then yeah. Look, like, if you want to have me on the background, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so I did the puzzle. See, so yeah, I, I did do the lava puzzle. Did I ever find it? Sticking to the right side. I shouldn't even be in here. Fuck.
Oh boy. But actually, just cur curious, asking Maris, so you said you've never found all the all the moonfish in this game. Can I even climb this? No, I can't. Is there a way I can get behind there? Oh wait, that no, that doesn't look like an entrance to me. I mean, no, no, wait, no, I'm not an idiot. I, I thought, I thought it was just right next to the boss door. Nope, it's not. Actually, you know what? Real quick, let me just pull up a... Fuck. Almost, almost dropped my controller. I'm multitasking very much. Right. Where's this guy at? Right there. Map. Stop it. Yep, I already got it. Okay, so I've already gotten everything in here. Uh, hello, state. Okay, so, yep, this was a waste of time. Delphinus. Next stop is in Horteca. So head on over to Xataka. Also, I just realized that the uh, it looks like South Ocean doesn't have any uh, typhoons anymore. Who boy. I could also be looking for the discoveries, but guess what? No. Just no. <laughs> Just fuck no. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm already considering this torture. Why the hell am I running into random encounters? I have the white map. Like, not to torture for me personally. I would Like, if I was playing this on my own time, this would be nothing. But since I'm streaming it, I just feel like I'm kind of forcing you guys along for the ride but I but if if you want to leave while this is happening that's perfectly fine just come back like I don't know like three or four hours and maybe it'll be done <laughs> Yeah. 
I swear to fucking god, if finding all these moonfish doesn't get PS Thal to show up, I'm gonna be legitimately pissed. Like it's like the th the thing I looked at it said it, find the dis find the discoveries, like not not discoveries uh find the moonfish and give them to the give them to the bird, and then PS doll should show up. Like it said, like I need like twenty two out of twenty four, but I'm just gonna literally go through every every place that I can. Just so I can get it. Okay, so Horteca. Actually, wait, is Tikataka. Tikataka someone in my crew? Yes, it's it's that guy. It's uh okay, so I already got him. To be honest, I think I've already gotten the moonfish here, but I'm still gonna check even though Like I don't know why this town is so complicated. Okay, safe state. I don't know why this town is so complicated to travel through, but it is. It's a pain in the ass. Okay, so let me get let me head to the tavern first, because the tavern I mean I technically could like legitimately save state just by saving there and then quitting the game and turning it back on, but one, I think that'll cause the stream to lag like quite a bit. And two, this is just faster. Okay, so it looks like there is one that I legitimately didn't get because this guy says it's the hardest moonfish to get in the game. It's apparently at, it's at the Moonstone Mountain. It's that one place where like people were getting enslaved in Ixataka. I'm not sure if there's still people there. Probably not. Uh, but apparently, not only did I miss that, I missed a piece of equipment for Drachma. But guess what? It doesn't fucking matter at this point because Drachma has his best equipment. Vice, thank you. I was about to go like, please just slide. Okay, so use the one size again to climb up top level. Okay, just start climbing. So bare minimum, that's one I definitely didn't get because I don't remember getting any uh, any moonfish at the Moonstone Mountain. Damn it! Go up. I couldn't tell which which direction you wanted me to do. Uh, use the one slides. Okay, wait. It says climb. Okay, so I've already gotten that, so now I need to go where Tika Taka was, which was over by the Chief's Hut. Then I need to head back to the Moonstone Mountain. Then I need to also head into Rixis, because there's a Moonstone there too that I might have missed. God, that's going to be a long stream. I'm just dreading if I can... I'm worried if I can even upload it to YouTube. Like, I might have to split it up into, like, separate parts. If I can even download it. Fuck, I went the wrong way. God damn it. Because I think the max thing you can upload is 10 hours. 
Oh wait, no, the slide's right over here. Oh boy. At least the very, at the very least from what I'm seeing from this guy, it doesn't look like there's any that I could miss. Like the, like miss as in I could just never get them again. At least I hope so. Okay, so that where Tika Tika was, he was right here. Uh where was it? On the narrow part with the treasure chest. Okay, so it looks like I already found it. So, load. Turn to the ship. We're heading to the Moonstone Mountain now. Yeah, bare minimum, this is going to be like... Bare minimum, seven hours probably. That's my guess. I'm worried it's going to be up to 10, but I'm willing to do it. I want to do that PS Null fight. I mean, I could legit, like, to, to be brutally honest. To be brutally honest, I could legitimately split this up into two parts. I could do, like, all this moonfish hunting on today, and then I could do the rest of it on Thursday. Because what, what my plan, what, what my original plan was, before I figured out that you need to collect all these moonfish, is, um, you need to, okay, so it looks like, okay, so it looks like this place, place is abandoned. Uh, what you, uh, what you need to do is, uh, what I was gonna do was, um, I was going to do all this, like, I was going to do everything, beat the game today, and then I was going to take Thursday off as just, like, a rest, as a respite day. If it legitimately gets past 10 hours, like, if I'm going to the 11-hour mark, I'm probably going to, I'm, like, if it starts getting close to the 10-hour mark, like, if I'm at, like, 9 hours, and I'm probably going to stop. Okay, so we're in this minute, so on. And I'll pr probably just, uh... I'll probably just leave it for uh, for next time on Thursday because, like, I'll just say I'm getting this game done by bare minimum. I'm getting this game done by this weekday. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's see. We're There better not be random encounters here. The only random encounters I remember were like random wildlife with Falu and soldiers. So that might just be the plan I'm, I'm going to do going forward. Like, uh, like if we legitimately just get past the, the nine hour mark, then I'm probably going to stop. And then I'm just going to save everything for next time. Like, unless we are literally at Ramirez's doorstep, like if we are at Ramirez's doorstep by the nine hour mark, then Fuck me, there are encounters in here. Fuck. Like, unless we're... Like, if, say, we're gonna be going into Soltis, then maybe I'll stop it, but probably not. Like, it, it, it... Knowing me, I'm probably going to finish this fight today. I mean, I, I mean during this re rewind, I could probably be finding those champs, but... At this point, I'm not going to stress hairs over that too so I'm probably already gonna go gray by the end of this <laughs> that 
At least I think the white map is helping. Damn it! I hit the fucking wrong thing. I don't think we ever saw this animation, though. Ow. Dead Loco, you still fuck with us even though you're dead at the bottom of the ocean. Or the vortex, whatever. Are you with the f <laughs> Actually, no, what? Defend. Just let her use a Mega Cyclone. Nothing in here should be able to survive this thing. Like, even these magic resistant guys, they die in one shot. Okay, this is the... I don't even remember where Sentai was. Oh my god, there's gonna be more in... Can we quit it with the random encounters? Oh, there's this thing. Oh, there's a moon berry in here. Okay. I missed this on my first run. I mean, it doesn't give me anything, but I found a moon berry. Fuck. If I, if I get enough, I might be able to give Enrique's ultimate move. Now that I'm not worrying about. Like, finding every moon berry. Fuck that. <laughs> Just fuck that. So wait, fuck, I found a moonberry. That means I have to walk back through. Damn it. You're kidding me. I didn't kill this thing. It's guarding. You son of a bitch, just die. Yeah, I have to go back through this area because I found a moonberry. Fuck. Why the fuck are you guys still here? Valua's dead. I guess they didn't think no nobody would show up through here. Yeah, Valua's fucked you guys. Just head home. Oh wait, Valua's fucked. You don't have a home to go back to. I 
I can't even remember where I found Sentai. I think it was at like the most bottom part of this place. Okay, so... So I legitimately just have to go through this dungeon like normal. Like, I just need to find... Like, the el the second elevator. Because that's probably the elevator where Sentai was. What was the point? Of okay, so this was probably a sham. Okay, so let me look and see where I need to fall. Right there, I think. Yeah, right there. So which thing do I need to go down? This one. Okay, so yeah, this was where sent time was. This was where sent time was. Okay. Uh write it up. Okay. Keep going straight. Yeah, that's just a new area I haven't been in. Three Blaster One. What the hell is that? I'm not even going to look at it. Like, I think it's something I could sell. Ha! Go boom, please. Thank you. Yeah, so I have to go back through all of this again. Yeah, this is Deloco the Deloco Drill for Drachma. I can spot it. Where is it? There you are, you piece of shit. I had to go through a lot to get you. You fuck. Okay. And I can't even use the save state. I have I have to go back through this. Fuck. <laughs> I think the white map is actually helping because I'm not getting as many encounters. Oh, 
yeah, he leveled up his, uh, he leveled up his purple magic. Yeah, they're evil. They're evil for hiding one here. Because especially since, uh, like I found out, if you head, head for the objective, you're just going to get tossed out of here. Can I just legitimately, I was about to say, can I just legitimately jump in one of the minecarts? Can I please just do that? Can you just put me in one of those minecarts? Like, just give me a one-way ticket out of here, please. Let, let me just get out of here. <laughs> Legitimately, if there, if there is a minecart I can jump in, I'm just getting on it. Because that, that's a one-way ticket out of here. Please. <laughs> yeah, this was not a fun point of the game for me. Okay, good. At the very least, I'm attacking. So, you motherfucker, you are not guarding. And Vice got a level up too. Hooray! Ay, ay, ay. Fucking... Okay, does that drop into a minecart? No, it doesn't. Actually, wait. Can I drop into a minecart from that? I think I can. Yes, I can. Okay, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Please just let me get a minecart. Please, for the love of God. Yeah, I can jump into a minecart from here. There's one right below me. Yes! Thank you! Oh god, game, don't have a seizure! Thank you! Smack! How many moonfish do I have? I think I, I only have one so far. Yeah, I only have one moonfish. So I need to go find four, three, three or four more, I think. I'm fucking gone, you bitches! <laughs> oh, that's not even the most evil one. I think the most evil one is probably going to be in like Rixus, like Rixus or uh, or the Ice Dungeon. Like, there's one in there too. Save, please. Don't make me do this again. So the so the the clock is gonna be a little bit off just because I did use I did use save states. Like if I either A don't get something valuable or B it's in a dungeon, uh then I have to walk back through it. But if if I already have it from the dungeon, I'm just gonna save state out because uh fuck going back through this shit. Because some of these dungeons are annoying! <laughs> okay, so... Rixus. Oh my god, I... Yeah, that... Wait a minute, there was one in, uh... There was one in fucking... Mount Yo Yozoi. Fuck! Okay. Also, I can get this one. Dis I know there's a discovery, like, right here somewhere. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, I, I can I can discover it. In fact, I can discover both these things. Oh. Wait, can I just go straight up to the top top of Rixus? What the fuck is that thing? 
You know what? I'm safe stating. Because I have a... Take it as a gut feeling. I think that might be an optional boss. Yeah, just take it as a gut feeling. That might be an optional boss. Are you a discovery? Or are you... Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Fuck you. Yep, that's probably an optional boss. Just a guess. An optional ship boss, no less. So, fuck that even more. What the hell am I doing? Why am I trying to search for these? So yeah, I gotta go through Rixus again. Fuck. Okay, so where is this thing? Toward the end. Okay, no, no, it says toward the end of the area with the moving platform. So still pretty fucking far into this thing. Well, at the very least, I have a full map, so I can actually see where the hell I'm going. I never did fill out this, this side of it, though. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I forgot! This this is this is where these stupid wrong sloth-looking things are. Oh, no, just these things. I think Omega Cyclone kills them. Yep. Boom. That was easy. I swear to God, this, like, like I, I looked up the guide. It said you need to get the moonfish. You need to get like twenty-two moonfish to fight Piestal. But I swear to God, if it doesn't happen, I'm going to be fuming. I'm going to be fuming so hard. How the fuck do I even get over there again? Oh yeah, I have to, I have to climb up there. Oh yeah, these this this little fucking thing. Um, you do that. Uh, can you? No, you can't. Royal blade it. I can't even land to burst it. Uh, you know what? Instead, you use Omega Cyclone, and everybody just base attack it. Yeah. At least I chunk into it now. I think... I think I... Yeah, with a crit, that should kill it. Over there. Nice. I probably should change the name of the stream to like Moonfish Hunting, because that's all that's what I'm doing for the first half of it. But fuck it, let's let's just go with the with the title right now. Okay, so towards the end of the area with the moving platforms. I don't know why, but that seems extremely vague to me. Oh boy. Wait a minute. If I have to go back to Mount Yuzoi or whatever the fuck it's called, do I have to do the fucking water puzzles again? Oh good, like, it was guarding, so I just killed it outright. Just... I only did that because I just wanted to get through the menus faster. Aika, please just go. Thank you.
towards the end of the area with the moving platform. So obviously this. So let me just look at this. Just think. Pause. Okay. Uh, towards the end of the area, there's one platform sitting at the side of a ruined building. All these buildings look ruined. What the fuck are you talking about? Actually part of a chain of platforms to take you back to the beginning of the area. So yeah, I, I think I haven't been to this area then. So I guess I... That's the one thing I'm worrying about, like, when it's finding these moonfish. Like, if it's in a dungeon, I have to go back through the dungeon. What the f- How'd I get another moonberry? Can you grind moon moonberries off these things? Okay, so evidently I did miss some things. Like, there's a there's a chest I didn't get. So yeah, I'm- I, I'm- This might be another moonfish I missed. Yeah, I don't think I went up to that platform. Also, this is the only platform I can go to, so where the hell am I going? Oh wait, I can go over here. Yeah, so I might have missed the moonfish here too, because... There's a treasure chest I clearly missed up there. Fuck. So I got a second moonberry. Uh, just block. Just let her kill him. Boom. Thank you. this again toward the end of the area filled with moving platforms so when we were chasing after that one guy I don't think there's anything right here yeah there isn't actually part of a chain of platforms to take you back to me comes into range right before you step on the first platform. So, yeah, maybe I did miss this. God, that actually caused the game to lag for a split second. <laughs> Ica went boom. Maybe I already found it. Yeah, may maybe I did. I could potentially go... Oh, wait, no. I, I think I already got that. So... If this is the platform he's talking... You know what? Let me pull up that one YouTube video I had. I wish you would actually show me where it's at.
Okay, I'm a... Okay, so let me go on these chain of platforms. Because I'm not hearing the blip go off. So I think... Yeah, I'm... I'm going to just say 100% positive that I already have the Moonfish here. I swear to God, if I'm missing this one, I am going to be fuming. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say it. I'm fairly certain I have it. Yeah, because it's just not the video I'm looking at doesn't want to show me it. So yeah, uh, safe state away. Uh, actually, wait a minute. I I have a moonstone. I have a moonstone. I forgot about that. And also the entrance is right there. So I mean, not a moonstone. A uh, moonberry. Blech. Leave me alone. Tick, tick, boom. That was fun. Okay, so that's the... So I have the one in Rixus. Now I'm going to Nasrid. Save just in case. Okay, so next up is Nasrid, which is right over there. Actually, I don't think there's any bat. Oh, yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, shit. Forgot about that thing. Is it still chasing me? Yeah, I don't know if that's a common enemy or a boss. I'm not fighting that thing. Because that's just going to ta take even more time. So... Yeah. Turn my way back around to Nostrid. Did I ever discover these things? Yeah, I did. Oh, look, there's that guy's ship. So head back to Nasrud, then I can head to Crescent Isle, and then Dockett's Island, and then... Okay, good. The bare, bare minimum, bare minimum. I don't... I looked... I'm looking at this guide. It doesn't look like there's any in the dark void. Okay, so am I even heading in the right direction? Nope, I'm not. The 
one thing I do like about the soundtrack that's kind of dynamic about it is with every new location you go to, it has its own little jingle to it. Like, uh, if you're above Valua, if you're in Valua, it has percussion. Uh, in Nasrid, it has sort of like this pan flute going to it. And in Glacia, it literally just has, j it literally just has, uh, jingle themes. Actually, not, 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 uh, not pan flute. It's like, a. I think it's a shamisen, and the fact that I even remember that is from a JonTron video. <laughs> okay, so Nasrid uh, on the docks, the long arm with the torch on it. probably like right over here i never actually yep there it is you evil motherfuckers why would you hide one you assholes okay you evil evil motherfuckers oh god i hate, hate the designers so much oh god you mm, man oh you evil evil motherfuckers Okay, so that's two Moonfish down. I think I literally only need two more. Uh, yeah, because I'm at item 20. Is that only item 22? I'm literally just going to go get them all at this point. Like, I might as well go for the gold. Might as well. I might as well do it. <laughs> oh, God, you evil, evil bastards. Oh, fuck. Okay, so head to Dockets Island and also Treasure Island real quick. And not Treasure Island, Crescent Island. Blech. Okay, so head into Crescent Isle and start hunting around here real quick. Uh... Hovering just below the nose of the Delphinus. Wait, the docking bay? I can't even see the nose of the Delphinus. What the hell are you talking about, God? Docking Bay's lower level. What lower what lower level are you talking about? can't even see like a moonfish. Also, how rich am I? I am stinking fucking rich. So I can actually re-equip re on some uh, soccer land crystals. Am I blind? I don't even see one. Looks like, looks like my cat woke up.
I swear to God, if I go through literally every single one on this list and I still end up short, I'm going to be... Oh, God. <sighs> okay, take the elevator. I got that one. Crescent Isle. After you get... Go into the docking base lower level on the left side. I'm confused where it's even asking me to go to. Fish even is this? Number 15. No, it doesn't. Oh boy. These are all the ones in Esperanza. I'm legitimately just trying to find... Okay, unless either both of you guys are wrong. Oh my god. Why you gotta do this to me? Right next to the path that leads up to Delphinus. Upwards to the nose of your ship. Okay. Wait, is that it? No, that can't be it. There's no way. No, that's just literally the red light. Okay, so I've already gotten this one. Yeah, sorry about that. Like it. Like, I had... The guides were being conflicting. Like, they were just straight up saying, it's at the nose of your ship, but you have to be on the lower port. I was just going like... 
Jesus Christ. Okay, so we already got this one, so time to head to Esperanza. Or I think I've... How many moonfish do I got? Because I'm at, like, item 20? Okay, I got two moonfish. So literally, I just need two more. I literally just need two more. Fuck! Oh, God. Okay, so... Next up is Docket... Actually, wait, no. It's not Esperance. It's Docket Island. I gotta head there. Fuck. Hello, cat. I see you. I'm a bit busy at the moment. I'm sorry I can't give you pets. This is, uh, Phoenix. Nope, this is Phoenix side. Fuck. I mean, Phoenix and, uh, Ica's side. So I need to go I need to go find the island that I- that, uh, Vice and Gilder were on. Which was just a l I think it was- Where was it? God damn it, where was it again? I mean, I could technically do it with Fina and Aika, but I really don't want to. Especially since they don't have much in terms of gear. Fuck it, I'm not. Damn it! Actually, defend. You don't defend, you're gonna blow up the world. That yeah, I'm forgetting that she has Omega Cyclone, so she'll just be able to. Oh, wait, she won't be able to use it during this dungeon. Fuck. Interesting design, but also poorly implemented, because... So, yeah, just heading to Dockets Island just so I can find this place. So, on Vice and Gilder's side... I honestly can't tell if this is Vice and Gilder's side. Actually, can I just open this up? Yes, I can. Okay, let me look at that picture because I actually found a picture of it. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. I actually get the same shot? Yeah, I can. So I think I already got this moonfish that was in here.
Oh yeah, fuck. I, 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 God damn it. Okay, uh, can you just use py Pyrum? I don't know how we got separated by from everybody, but apparently we did. Good. So I'm just gonna check around like this this part right here real quick before I leave because it says it was supposed to be in here. Does this have a moonberry? No, it didn't. So yeah, it looks like I already got the one in here, and I didn't sa save state on my way out. Fuck. So I might run into a random encounter before I leave this place. Fuck. So I got the ones across the Nile. Uh, next up is Esperanza. I'm really, so I'm really sorry about this. Like, I didn't think I would need to do this. Just to... Screw it, just blow them up. Unfortunately, I can't skip spell animations for some reason. Like, I thought it was just going to be optional bosses in the dungeons. Th then the last dungeon. But no, apparently, uh, you need to get the Moonfish. Fuck. So, yeah, I'll get the Fiber Mail. Actually, do I... Do I have that idol, or did I already sell it? Actually, I might be on... I might need five more, so I might be missing five of them. Uh, which, what's closer, Esperanza or, or the shop? Uh, they're they're both on the way, so I'll head I'll head over and give him the re the rest of the moonfish I have just to see at what spot I am with the uh, with the moonfish. What the fuck is that thing? Okay. I don't know why. Th no worry, Maris. I will probably be s still be here. I will. De I will definitely still be here. Like, I'm gonna give myself an estimate. I'm probably gonna be hunting moonfish for probably like another hour, maybe two, and then the fights with Piestal, including cutscenes, might take an hour as well. Maybe half an hour. And then, like, the fight with Ramirez should go a little bit smoothly. Because, by the looks of it, I I do think I've gotten most of... I've gotten most of the Moonfish at this point. Like, it's just a matter of actually triggering the fight with Piestal. Because she's just not wanting to show up. Okay, here's your fucking Moonfish, you little brat. Hi, you son of a bitch. I'm surprised this thing isn't just toppling the ship over already. Okay, so what moonfish am I at? I am at... I'm at number 21. Okay, so I'm at 22 moonfish, so I literally only need to find two more after this.
Fiber mail and a marksman's gun. Oh, we get more cutscenes. Thank you for always bringing fish for me. Look how much Piccolo has grown. Oh, and to think he used to be small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Tell me about it. Who'd have thought that it would grow this big? Piccolo, let's go play over there. Can he even get through? Maria, be careful. If that big guy starts running around, this rickety old ship won't hold together long. I know. Piccolo, come on. Over here. I just wanted to thank you, Vice. Because of you and your crew, Maria has finally come out of her shell. She's become herself again. In return, well, that's a strange way to put it. But in return, I'll tell you the rest of my story. It's hard for me to talk about it, but if Maria can be strong enough to get over her past, I can't sit here and dwell on my past either. I guess I've finally become strong enough to realize that. Doc. Well, if you must know, then I'll tell you. I'll tell you of the tragedy that befell Ramirez. Depend on a person too much and they'll betray your trust sooner or later. Or so Gaussian told Ramirez. Maybe that hit a little close to home. I don't know, but for whatever reason, Ramirez began to snoop around for information regarding Mendoza. And that's when we found out that Mendoza was using the Exotokens as slave for his own personal profit. He forced the Exotokens to work a few extra hours here and there, and pocketed all the extra moonstones that they found for himself. The shock of this discovery was almost too much for Ramirez to bear. He went directly to Admiral Mendoza and confronted him. My lord, is it true? Is it true about the Moonstones and the Exotokan slaves? I won't lie to you. Yes, it is true. What's the problem? Is there something wrong with making money, with desiring wealth and power? You're forcing the Exotokans to work grueling hours and inhumane conditions. My lord, you promised me. You told me that you would speak to Her Majesty in regards to the, the way the Exotokans were being treated. <laughs> you truly are naive, aren't you? What exactly do you think would have happened if I did that? Her Majesty would find out about my little scheme, and I would basically be signing my own death warrant. How, how could you lie to me like that? It's quite unfortunate that things had to turn out this way, Ramirez, and to think I thought of you as a son. Regardless, you have uncovered my plans and left me with no choice. Guards, seize him. Everything, all that I have believed in. Ah, yeah. By the time I got there, it was already too late. The guards, even Admiral Mendoza, they had all fallen under Ramirez's blade. Ramirez, wh what have you done? I I'm sorry, Doc. But I can no longer trust humans. I can no longer remain here. Wait, Ramirez, where are you going? Goodbye, Doc. The Ramirez that you knew is no m more. He died the moment I drew my blade against Admiral Mendoza. From now on, I will only believe in strength. I shall only follow those with power. Wait, Ramirez! 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 He said it better than I could. <laughs> and so Ramirez went to Gaussian's side, and I believe you know the rest of the story. I had spent so much time with both Mendoza and Ramirez, and yet I could do nothing to stop this tragedy from happening. If only I had the strength to stop him, Mendoza, Ramirez, and even Maria, all of their lives would have turned out so much differently. Doc. I know, I know. I'm going to stop living in the past. Just gotta keep looking forward and hope for the best. And besides, I think it's a blessing that I was able to save Maria from the burning wreckage of the Aquila. Uh -huh. Aquila? That name? W wait a second there, Fina. You don't think... I heard that some air pirates that were passing through the area helped save most of the crew after we left, though. Hey, Doc. Maria wouldn't have to have an older sister, would she? Actually, she did. Wait, did I forget to tell you that? Well, unfortunately, she went missing after the accident. Nobody knows what happened to her. Poor Piestal. It's bothered me for years that I couldn't save both of them. Vice, then it is her! Uh -huh. There's no doubt about it. Maria and Piestal are long-lost sisters. We gotta tell Piestal. Piestal said that she would come to fight us again sometime. When we see her, we'll tell her everything we know. What she do does with this information is up to her. Okay, I guess we can go fight Piestal now! Okay, please, let me go fight her. Like, yeah, there's a couple things I could get with the last two moonfish, but fuck that! I don't want to go back through all the areas. <laughs> also, sorry if I peeked the fuck out of that eye. I'm just excited that I get to go fight Piestal. Fuck! I want to do that at the beginning of the stream. It's been almost three hours. Uh. Yep, there's the black spot. Okay, time to go kick her ass. <laughs> Finally! Jesus! <laughs> mm. 
you know... Do I... You know what? I'm going to go fight P.S. Stall, and then I'm going to go get the last two Moonfish, because I'm assuming... I'm assuming I'm going to need the last two Moonfish to fight her final phase. Fucking finally! God, I'm just excited I get to fight P.S. Stall now! She's probably going to kick my ass! Okay. Bitch, here we go. We, we are fighting your ass now. To be brutally honest, I do have to use the bathroom. I've, I've been kind of holding it in. I will be right back. I will be long. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, sorry about that. Just really had to use the restroom. So, yeah, th this is the plan I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go fight PS Stall right now. And she has one final fight. I thought it was going to be three fights. No, apparently it's four. Um, I'm going to go fight her. Then I'm going to go get, get the last two Moonstones. Because I'm a, I mean, not Moonstones. Fucking Moonfish. Bleh. Okay, so yeah, I, I looked at it, I'm looking at it right now. You need to collect all you need to collect all the moonfish in order to fight Piestol, like fully. So yeah. So yeah, uh, let's yeah let's let's go fight her right now. Piestol, we're coming for you, you bitch. <laughs> you better get ready for this for this cheek clapping. Fuck. Oh boy. Where is your ship? Oh my god. Where the hell are you? You are west... You're west of Sailor Island. Where the fuck are you? Actually, wait. I didn't even check the black spot. It might be a different spot this time. Wait, you at the same location. Where the fuck are you then? I'm literally in Ixataka. Is that you? Nope, that's not you. That's not you. There you are. Oh my god, where is she? I went to get, catch some fish real quick. Am I that bl I hear her ship. She's literally right above me. Okay. Uh, save. Bish, we're ready to fight you. You, you fucking bish. <laughs> 
Bring it on. Vice, this will be our final battle. Piestal, wait a second. There's something we need to tell you. Nothing can save you now. The only thing I desire is to watch Vice fall by my hand. That's all I live for. I will defeat you. The last seven years of my life rests on the outcome of this very battle. On guard. Someone yell it out before she fights us. That's literally all you have to do. What's her weakness again? I honestly... I will have my revenge at last. No, you won't. Because power of friendship and all that bullshit. She is green. She's blue. Her dog's green. So, what's the type shard again? Uh, green, blue, uh, looks like just stick. Wait, green's effective against itself? No, no, yep. Okay, so I think it's like. Yeah, use green. Use purple against green. So yeah, let's just keep attacking the dog. Delta shield, focus, just a shield. This is how this this is how this fights is gonna Oh shit, I didn't skip it. I'm not giving her an inch. This is gonna be a very, very long fight. Okay, good. I, I have I have Delta Shield up. So Noxus doesn't even work. Uh get Lunar Blessing up just so we can get a little bit of health in between these. Then after that she can use a uh Glyph of Speed, and then just start getting, then use Glyphs of Might. Done. Deluge. Oh yeah, this move. Ow, oh, man. That still hurts. It still hurts like a bitch. Oh my god, he has Sacrum. He can heal himself. Okay, uh, I seriously, yeah, it's like, against green, oh wait, yeah, against green, purple isn't that good, so I want to use electric, uh, delta shield, uh, you use a glyph of speed, and just a shield, I'm just happy we're even doing this fight already. It, this has been three hours into the stream, and now we just get to the third fight with Piestal. Oh my god. This is going to be a rough, rough fight, I can already tell. Mainly because it can heal itself! Let's try this. Oh boy. So not only do I have to do this fight, I have to go find the last two Moonfish, I have to do the next fight with PSL, then I can do the final dungeon. Okay, so yeah, look, looking at it, I was in the wrong element. Oh, excuse me. Delta Shield. Uh, use a Glyph of Might on Vice. Just a Shield. Nice crit. Yes, we actually got to the PSL fight, Sella. And this is only the first one this stream. We're doing a second one. <laughs> okay, good. The dog's going down pretty quick. Fuck! That was what I was worried about. Okay, it's it, it got the increments off. Damn it. Okay, so now I need to worry about calculating that now okay so Colors Fury kill the dog keep Delta Shield up 
Uh, use a Sacrum Crystal. Get everybody up. Just a shield. Wait, she can turn people to stone, right? Okay, good. Damn it, the dog's not dead. Let's try this. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Quite literally, since you're the dog. Okay, so Cutlass Fury, kill, um, keep Delta Shield up, uh, use a glyph, glyph of Might on yourself, Fina, just a shield. God, how much is Dailies gonna do now? Ah, oh, man, that did a shit ton. That did a shit ton more. Ow. Okay, good. The dog's dead. Dog is dead. Let's try this. Okay, she's blue, so switch to purple. Do I have enough to where I can Lunar Light the same turn? Because I'm kind of worried. Okay, so basic attack, Delta Shield, Lunar Light. Yes, I barely just have enough to use Lunar Light. Like, I'm just wanting to top everybody off. Like, I do not want to, to give her an inch. Because I'm assuming her, uh... Like, her unique... Like, that one single target spell got even more strong. Good. Okay, so she wasted her turn. So I don't even need to worry about healing next turn so I can focus up for uh, Pirate Giraffe. Okay, basic attack. Delta shield. Focus. Uh, just a shield. Yeah, Tempest Dance. This is the thing I'm worried about. Yeah, it's gotten even stronger. Man, that hurt. That hurt, but I, but I live. I live, bitch. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, to be perfectly honest, use a Soccer Link Crystal on yourself. I don't even have time for that. Uh, Soccer Link Crystal yourself. Delta Shield. Uh, use a Glyph of Might on... Uh, on Ica. And just a shield again. This is legitimately the only way you could beat <laughs> late game boss fights. Because you have to Delta Shield because they all have instant death spells. Like that. And you have to adjust the shield because their attacks are so strong they can just one-shot you. Let's try this. Like Vice, the tankiest person here who had just a shield, like it still took off half his health. Which is ridiculous. I do think I'm gonna be able to get prophecy by the by the looks of it. Actually, wait, can I pirate's wrath? Yes, I can. This will make the fight go much faster. Just getting a Pirate's Wrath off. And to think, she's going to be even stronger in the next fight.
You do the same. Yeah, that did a shit ton, and I like it that it did a shit ton. Okay, so basic attack, delta shield, uh, use a soccer link crystal on him. Actually, you know what? No. You use a soccer link crystal on your stealth device. Uh, delta shield, you use a glyph of might on Enrique, just so he can survive it. And just a shield. I think the only way Vice can die here is if she does another Tempest Dance. Okay, she just used a Turnum, which is perfectly fine. Okay, so everybody is back up to full HP. Everybody has all buffs on. We can just start laying into her. Or rather, Fina can just start focusing every turn. And just keep a stockpile for Lunar Light. In case we need very big emergency healing. So Vice can cut his fury every turn. Fina and Enrique can keep their shields up. And Fina just focus. You hurt like a bitch! And I kind of have to just use Cutlass Fury because I can't worry about a counterattack. God damn, lady, you hurt. Okay, so Cutlass Fury, um, Delta Shield, you use the Soccer Link Crystal on him. After this, I honestly think I need to go back to Crescent Isle and just stock up. Good, you wasted your turn. It is kind of concerning, though, that Vice is the slowest member of my team. Actually, wait, we don't know that, because Enrique and, Enrique and uh, Ika have priority with their shields. I think at some point I can put the shields down and just go for a Pirate's Wrath. But until then, I'm just going to keep Delta shielding. And just the shielding. Yeah. Yep, there's Tempest Dance. Who are you going for? You're just going to... Okay, so I think she's just programmed to use Tempest Dance on just Vice. Man, lady, you hurt. You hurt so much. Yeah, so I think after a couple more Cutlass Furies, I can just straight up go for a, uh, a Pirate's Wrath and Killer. Okay, so this is th this looks like to be her her pattern. Like she's going for Tempest Dance and then Eternum. I guess she's just done using Pillage. Let's try this. Yeah, I guess she's just done using Pillage for some reason. Okay, Pirate's Wrath. Uh, let's see if this ends it.
man, that Tempest Dance is getting stronger and stronger. And I'm not liking it. Like, it was at like 2,500, now it's at 26... That was at 2,600, now it's at 2,700. Uh, yep, Pirate Trap killed her. Woo! Oh, boy. A light dress. PS stall. I knew I would lose. Having fought you three times already, I knew that I was no match for you. Only a fool would think otherwise. And I know that you weren't lying. Th then why? Why did you still fight? If it wasn't you air pirates that took my father's life, then what... What have the last seven years of my life been for? For what reason have I fought alone all these long years? Also, I just really want to check. Thank God I changed to the tran I transitioned and I actually put my mic back on. I lost my reason for living. No, it was wrong for me to only live for revenge in the first place. That is why I thought that I deserved to die by your hand, to cleanse myself of this lie that I have lived. Piestal. Piestal, near Sailor's Island, there's a small doctor's ship. Go find it. Doc and your sister Maria are aboard that ship. W what? If you're loyal to me, I I shall make you pay with your life. Hey now, didn't you just say that you believed us? You better do something about that temper of yours. Vice, is it really true? Can I trust you? No, I can't see them. Not like this. Not as the angel of death. I can't let them know what I've, has become of me. Oh, come on. Relax, P.S. I'll just go see them already. I'm sure that Doc and Maria would be more than happy to see you two. Now get going. We don't have time to sit here and smell the roses. We've got sailing to do. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to tell you one thing. Pistol, you're not the angel of death. You never were. You've always been Maria's older sister. Just ask her. I'm sure she'll tell you the same. Vice, I, I don't know what to say. Maybe we'll see you again somewhere out in this big blue sky. Until then, Piesto. Well, we're fighting her one more time, I know that. We just need to find the rest of the moonfish. Luckily, there's only two more left. So... Next place we got to go to is Esperanza. Which is right down there. I'm fairly certain the two places I missed were like the were like the two dungeons I need to go to. What the fuck was going to spot me up here? Uh, where is it? Oh, there's Esperanza. Yeah, I know there's, I, I know there's some other optional bosses we can do. I fi figure I'll just make make sure that's crystal clear. But uh, I'm only wanted to do the bounties and Piestal because Piestal actually has story. Like a par like I'm fairly certain that one bird we saw in Exataka that was that was an optional bo air boss. Also because, from what I've seen, all the other optional bosses are air fights. I don't want to do an air fight, because those take fucking forever! Okay, so Esperanza... Uh... One atop the, aban the abandoned lighthouse. I did get that one. I, I very clearly remember getting that one. I'll still go, go over there just in case, but, like, I don't think I'm going to hear the click. Near the weapons merchant in the back area, there will be a couple...
I'll just hit, I'll, I'll head over there just in case, but I very clearly remember going up here. Oh yeah, this guy's drunk down here. Yeah, look, looking at the only, uh, there's only two dungeon areas I'm missing, like, uh, which is Dangrel Island and, uh, and Glacia. Oh, oh wait, this isn't even, I don't, I don't even think this is an area I've been to yet, like Glacia. Yeah, I think. Yeah, so, okay, so, this is definitely one of them, Glacia. This is, this is definitely one I'm missing, because this was an, this is an area I haven't even been to yet. So, that's one, that's definitely one. And then the last one, it might just be in, Dang in Dangrel Island, because I'm looking at it. The other places are Yakutoma, which I've definitely gotten at this point. Like, I very clearly remember getting it there. I'm still going to go over there, because with the white map and most of these places not being dungeons, uh, it shouldn't take me more than, like, ten minutes to get over there. N not even ten minutes. If it takes me ten minutes, these this world map is way too fucking big. Okay, so... Let me look. Uh, Esperanza. Weapons merchant in the back. Couple crash ships. Four near to the left one of the merchant. Moon lens will start crying. Oh, wait. I think I have to get on the ship. At least I think. No. Yeah, so. Glacia is definitely one of them. Because that is just literally an area I've never been to. At least I think. Like, the way it described it, it said I have to go through Lower Sky. Like, I have to go through Lower Sky where the dungeon used to be. I mean, where the dungeon is. Like, there's apparently, like, a secret entrance I can go into. So, that's an area, that's an area I basically haven't been to yet. And also, I'm just going to save right now. Okay, so Esperanza, that's checked off. Next up is, we'll just head to Yafatoma real quick because we have to head to Mount Kazai anyway because that's an area I don't know if I've been through. Or at least I don't have to fly through the Dark Void anymore to get to Yafatoma. Okay, so that gives me a glimmer of hope. That means there's only one really unaccounted for at this point. Oh! Spice Island. There's so many herbs in Spice... You were just... Oh, Kale. Wait, what? Did I get into a fight for discovering this place? No, I, th I think that I think that was just really poor timing. Also, I didn't realize I didn't heal. Fuck. Oh, crap. We're getting into the areas where these things just are straight up invulnerable to Omega Cyclone.
I don't care. Just let me, f let me fucking leave. Yes, Vice, it is over already for this flight. Not not for this stream, though. This stream is going to be a long one. I'm hoping I can get it done in seven hours. <laughs> I probably had the face of just fucking kill me already. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm, ho I'm hoping my torture has been fun for you. Okay, so... Am I? Yeah, I'm right on top of Yafatoma. Can I please just park up here? Okay. Okay, so we're... Yeah, I think I already got this one. Let's... Wait a minute. Uh, from the King's... Go... No, I, I think it'll be more. Actually, I just realized I can literally just look at this guy, like, like the look at this guy with pictures. Wait a minute. I'm. I might be. I might not be able to find it. I might be dumb. So just give me one second. Nope, I'm not dumb. I'm just... Okay, so I need to head to Mount Kazai. Okay, so I okay, 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 okay. Okay, I think I know where to go now. I think I know where the two moonfish I don't know are at. One is on Dangro Island, and the other is definitely in Glacia.
Yeah. Yep. I de yep. It's definitely Dan Garland. Because I I don't. So I'm not even gonna go to Mount Kaza. I'm going to I'm going immediately to. Uh... Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Because uh, from what I'm seeing is, I've got I. There's only a few more left. There was one in Mount Kazai, but looking at the picture that this guy's showing, I've been to that area, and I definitely remember getting the fish there. The two that I don't get, the two that I haven't gotten, is one in Glacia, which is, was physically impossible for me to get the first time around, because you need to have the ability to go under the sky. And then the other one is in Dangrel Island, which I'll go to right now, just to confirm. Um, it's You have to go to the farthest bottom corner of Dangrel Island, like the entrance of Dangrel Island. Which I didn't, because I, I distinctly remember not filling out the map there. So yeah, I... Okay, good, good, good. We know where the last two are. We bare minimum are gonna get them, so... And if if I'm wrong and I actually got the one on Dangrel Island and it's somehow in, in Mount Kaza, I, I could just come back to that, because I bare minimum shrunk the list i know the ones that i've gotten <laughs> god this place god <laughs> jesus how long does it take me four hours good 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 <gasps> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, let me let me head to Dangrel Island. Actually, is Dangrel? Please tell me Dangrel Island wasn't off. Wasn't like. It's not like Ospio. Please tell me it's not an Ospio. Yeah, it's still right there. It's still right there. Just as long as I don't accidentally enter the dungeon. I'm coming for you, you motherfucking moonfish. I'm coming. Cat, you can't do that. She likes to scratch at the door, which, like, I know she wants out, but, like, I physically can't open the door just because there's just, just because there's, uh, like, I'm talking so much and people are usually asleep around this time. Yeah, I physically wasn't over there. There it is. Get over here. Just pull it like Scorpion. Yes. Okay. This is it, folks. There's only one more, and it's literally in a place I haven't been in. Like, it was physically impossible for me to get to it beforehand, but... Oh, boy! Oh, fuck! Yes. She usually just gets cranky, and then I have to scratch her a bit. Okay, Glacia, here we fucking come. You piece of shit. We're coming for you. Also, I just realized, I think I did the entirety of that fight with the white map on. Like, the entirety of, the, of that PSL fight. Whoops! <laughs> How can they even spot me? I'm above the sky! Oh, that's a dark void. Yeah, 
Yes, Ruins of Ice, which is right here. This is the spot I need to go to. Where are you? You're the real prize here. Where are you? There you are. Get over here. Get over here. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Yes! <laughs> We're done with these fucking things. Oh, I also got a Moonberry. Okay, so I can give Enrique his final super move. That's also good. No, I can't. Fuck. <laughs> Have you gone crazy in this? I think I've gone crazy in this. Also, why am I doing this? I didn't want to go back here. Like, I just wanted to get the fuck out of here. Because now we can do the last PS Stealth fight and we can finally start the fucking final dungeon. Oh, God. God, just fucking... Just put the bullet in my... Skull already, Jesus. Oh, the frozen giant. That looks kind of cool. Again, there are discoveries that I could that I could look for. Fuck that. Oh, what the hell is that? I mean, I can grab this. What the fuck? The comma rock. Okay, so head to Sailor's Island. Actually, wait. First, first, first. I need to head to Crescent Isle just so I can get my, uh... Also, I was about to head straight into Saltus. Okay, so yeah, I'll just run to Crescent Isle real quick to get the supplies because I'll just be, bu I'll just literally buy 999 of everything. Oh yeah, the Flutterflies. I thought those were fish for a second. I mean, hey, I've gotten a couple discoveries, so I'll be able to get a little bit of quick cash from the, from the service area. Okay, so yeah, keep heading that way, head to Crescent Isle, then just buy as much as I, buy as much medical supplies as, as I can, and I'll also buy uh, stat boosters too. Like, I think I'm going to need those for this fight, because I, it was easy because I was able to do that strategy, but I'm assuming this fight's about to be tough. Also, man, indigestion. Fuck. I won't be here for long. I'm not talking to you, Chad. I'm talking to the people here. Because I'm going crazy, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, give me all your shit. Uh, 
Uh, raise max. I uh, get like five of these. Uh, increases. Get five of these too. Get three of these. Um, get up. Oh, get three of these. Keep keep like twenty thousand just in case. Okay, so first off, the person who's going to be getting these uh, HP seeds, uh, that's you. About to go like, where's where's the where's the vital seeds? Okay, so self seeds, uh, quick, um, give three device and two to f and one to Fina and uh, Enrique. Uh, major seeds, get her up to forty. Give her the last one. Uh, Peranza seeds, two device, one to Enrique. And other than that, I think we're good. Yeah, so we. we blew all our cash i think we're gonna be good for the final for the last two three fights we have to do because yes there is one more bo boss fight we're gonna be doing but it's the final bounty that's gonna be in uh, Soltas. at least i think i'm gonna be able to fight if i don't uh fuck it i don't care like really all i wanted to do was just like fight piestol and also that one other bounty i knew exactly where it was at this one i it's uh I'll, I'll just spoil it right off the bat. It's Lord Bane. It's literally the leader of all those Zildlin Banes that I've been fighting throughout the entire game. I believe you need to fight every single other one in order to fight him in Sultus. But I, I... Or maybe he's just there to begin with. I honestly don't know. Stuff Vice with steroid seeds. I'm stuffing Fina with steroid seeds. She got like a hundred... She got like a hundred... 50 HP. But yes, we are we are finally finally after this fight with PS Stall going to the fucking final dungeon. 4 hours into this damn stream. <laughs> I'm professional. Can't stop that. Come here. I don't want you scratching at the door. Where are you? Where's Sailor's Island? Okay, so go go to the uh go to this go to this place, say save and heal. Just because I am a little injured a bit then go to the f go do all the moonfish stuff and then i think i come back here and i get the final black spot or maybe she just shows up at the doctor's ship i don't i honestly don't fucking know We're about to clap your fucking cheeks, Piestol. Also, I think we get, like, everybody's ultimate weapons from this. Or at the very least, like, Fina, at the very least, like, Ika and, uh, Vice. Also, I never equipped that new piece of armor that I got from this. You better evolve into a fucking Gyarados, by Christ, please!
Okay, so what do I get? Uh, the Hydra Wing, the Silver Arm, and the Serpent Strike. Uh, return to the ship for now. Because I want to equip those. And also equip the new... Also equip that one piece of armor that I didn't equip with. Maybe I checked it out. I'm not sure. But first, let's check check this shit out. Uh, oh. I guess it's not... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Could it be ultimate weapons for... Yeah, Serpent Strike. It might be ultimate weapons for, uh... For Enrique... Uh... Enrique, Gilder, and Drachma. No, no, wait, the Hydra Wing. No, wait, yeah, I got... I, I think I got a pistol for Gilder from this. But either way, I'm not I'm not gonna really harp on it. Like, I'm just... Also, I need to... I mean, I can check. Like... Like... Um... Wait, is it pieces of armor? Oh yeah, I need to I need to put the light dress on too. Oh wait, it it might be what is it? Also, what can I do with kale? Oh, it, it's probably something I could do later, but I don't even see what this thing is. Oh wait, uh, okay, so the silver arm, yeah, that that's the ultimate weapon for Drachma. Okay, so the, so it gave the ultimate weapons for Drachma, uh, Ika, and, uh, and Enrique. Also, I, I still haven't checked out what that fiber mail does. Uh, what does it do? Yeah, not that good. The plated armor I have is better. Uh, let's see, does it... Is it better than the Gaia Cape? Uh, oh wait a minute! I wait. Can can only uh, can only Vice equip it? Okay, only Vice Drachma and only Vice Drachma and Gilder can equip it. And I'm not using Gilder or Drachma, so it's literally just useless. And uh, yeah, that light dress. What does it do? Greatly increase the wielder speed. Also makes their dodge rate pretty much untouchable. What's... I mean, I'm assuming there's builds in this game that can literally give you over 100 dodge. But I'm not going to take that risk against the boss. Which is pretty much all I'm going to be fighting. So I'm going to save just in case we're about to fight PS Stall on top of this ship. <laughs> Like, I don't even know what I'm going to be getting from this last thing. Like, it... I don't know. Evolve into a drag... Evolve into a Dragonite. Hey, Vice, look. Something's different about him. Evolve into a Dragonite. I mean, it kind of did. <laughs> it kind of did. Wow, he just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Well, I think if anything ate that many moonfish, it'd grow at least half as much. But I bet that Maria's real happy that, that he's grown so much, huh, Doc? You think so, but life doesn't always turn out the way you expect. Piccolo, he wants to go home. Huh? Piccolo has grown wings, so now he's saying he wants to go home. Home to where all his friends are. I think he has a point point though if we don't return him to to nature he'll never find any of his own kind let alone find someone to marry oh well the one thing that's keeping me 
you can be worried that if this guy leaves, Maria's gonna fall into depression again. Uncle Doc, I I'll be fine. Maria? Ever since Daddy and my sister went away, I've been so lonely. And I think that Piccolo feels lonely too. I'm gonna miss him, but I think he should go home so he won't be lonely anymore. <laughs> I have you and Vice to take care of me too. I don't have to be lonely anymore. Oh, you sure have grown, Maria. Vice, I don't know how to thank you. To think this is the same Maria that I've been caring for all these years. I can't believe it. I owe everything to you. Bye! Hey, it looks like he's getting ready to leave. Sort of reminds me... Reminds you of when we left Pirate Isle, eh, Vice? Bye bye. Goodbye, Piccolo. Bye. Be nice to your new friends and come back to see me sometime. Aw. There he goes. You have found the moon Hamachu. Thanks to the air pirate Vice and his friend, Doc, the, myster the mysteries of the moon Hamachu have been solved. Once fed a moonfish, the moon Hamachu will undergo a metamorphosis and will eventually return home to its nest. I guess that was a discovery. Okay. Well, I guess it's, uh, I guess now I can go fight Piestal one more time. Also, I could sell this discovery for money. How much money are you gonna give me? That took me a fucking lot of time! Also, I have a bunch of other discovery shit. 40,000? Okay. I'll take that. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Can I not go fight Piestol? I better be able to fight Piestol. If it seriously tells me, get all the discovery points, I'm going to say a uh, resound fuck that. The only idea that I have is go check West Ocean and then go back to the docks area, then come back here and check the check the guild hall again. Other than that, I can't think of any other way to get PS Doll to show up, other than just straight up beating the game. Like that better not be a post a post op optional battle shit. I hate that sort of shit in games. Like yeah, I know it's meant to increase game time, but still fucking blows sometimes. Do we just go come back here? Oh, I guess we do. Oh, hey, it's Vice. Hi. Thanks for stopping by. I don't have much to offer in the way of comforts, but you're free to stay as long as you wish. Oh, hey, I almost forgot to tell you something. Piesto came by the other day. Okay, so this is how we put... Really? Yep, it was a day I'll never forget. Excuse me. Um, are you one of Uncle Doc's patients? <laughs> no. Nothing like that. I was, uh, just passing by and thought I'd drop in. Oh, I see.
Were you looking for something out there? I saw you staring out the out of the sky. Yeah, my friend Piccolo is out there somewhere. I was just wondering where I was just wondering how he was doing. Piccolo used to live here, but he flew home to be with his friends. He's a bird, you know. I see, it must be lonely for you without him. Yeah. Piccolo and I are like each other. We both were so lonely, with no friends. But he grew up and was able to go see his friends. My Uncle Doc told me something. He told me that I have a big sister. And that my big sister is out there somewhere, flying through the skies. I wonder if I'll ever get to meet her. Yeah. I I'm sure you will. Someday you will. I just know it. Yeah. Really? You think so? Wow. <laughs> well, isn't that nice? What? <laughs> I puked from the cuteness. Sorry about that. Would it be okay if I came back, you know, to talk with you again? Of course. Thank you. You don't know, know how much that means to me. Where's Doc? Isn't he supposed to like? I think she wants to get to know her little, gets to know her little by little to ease back into things. Someday there will be a family again. Vice. I've heard about you and Ramirez from various rumors from sailors passing through. One of you, either you or Ramirez, will not walk away alive from this mess, which means I'll lose one of my dear friends either way. Doc. Vice, just follow your instincts. Just do what you have to. I know you're sailing the path that you feel is right. I get the feeling that deep down inside, Ramirez is doing the same thing. Good luck, Vice. Uh -huh. Thanks. Now I assume I go back to Sailor's Island, and then I get the final black spot. So we've been at this for four hours now, and we haven't even gotten to the final dungeon. Jesus. <laughs> Collect collectibles when you see them, kids, because then you won't have to do this at the end game. Again, what the fuck? Why are you not giving me the black spot? Okay, I'm gonna go back to Doc's ship again. That's all I could think of. Let me save just in case, like, that triggers the fight and then I don't have to go through two cutscenes again. Okay, let's go back to Doc's ship again. That's literally all I can think of. Also, that looks like we're about to just straight crash into it. Okay, so my best guess is just go to West Ocean. That's literally all I can think of. One sec, I have to look up something. Like, I'm not... Fourth... Yeah, that's what like, that's all I can think of. Like That's not PS doll ship. What the 
fuck is that? Oh, it's a merchant ship. Okay, so I guess PS Thal isn't available yet. Just give me the fourth fight with P.S. Stall. I just want to fight her. Can you give me the black spot, please? Wait a minute. Wait, is there only... Oh, the, that last fight was the fourth one? Wait a minute, that was the fourth fight? Okay, apparently I can't count for shit. Really, that was the fourth fight? I guess it was the fourth fight. Uh, I could have sworn she had an she had another one because like. I'm just gonna take your word for it, like... Like, I'm assuming... I... I... have a... Very... Okay, hold on a second. Let, let me look up a video, like, PS Doll 4th Fight. Because then I'll be able to see the cutscene. Nope, that was the fourth fight. Okay, that was the fourth fight. I'm dumb, apparently. We just did the fourth fight. <laughs> just shoot me in the fucking head already. Well, um... We're still continuing on. We're finishing the game tonight. But that was... 
so yeah, we did all the we did the Piestel fight. Four hours six minutes in. Time. That's that's my speed run, folks. <laughs> Apparently, I can't count for shit. But, uh, yeah, we're going to the final area. There's nothing else for me to do. Like, I did the Piesto fight like I wanted to. I was gonna say, is this the area I have to... Do I have to go in through this? Oh, wait, no, I have to go through... I think I have to go in through, uh... Shrine Island, wherever the fuck it is. Right there. But, uh, yeah. Oh, what? There's a ship battle. Descent complete. Approaching Saltus. We'll try and get into the, sh the sh shrine, well, what used to be Shrine Island. Good idea. I don't want to find out what that light beam up of the Saltus would do to us if we were trying to pass through it. Ah! Damn, well, I guess things were going a little too smoothly. I, guess, I would have been disappointed if we got into Saltus that easily. Uh, focus, defend, and just focus. Wow, this thing moves really fucking quick. Damn, I nearly killed it in one shot! <laughs> Holy shit! Like I was like what twenty HP off, and I'm not and I'm not attacking for the rest of the turn just because I was I just thought I was gonna do like maybe half its health. So are there multiples of these things then? Because I just straight up murdered it. Yeah, but apparently uh, this stream proved one thing. I can't count for shit. Like, uh, I thought that was the third fight, but no, that was the fourth one. That was the final fight with Piestel. Wait, do I have to kill that thing in one turn? What the hell's going on? Okay. I don't... What was the point of fighting that thing then? Uh, first off, let me take the white map off because I doubt it's going to fucking matter here. Uh, give me the Ancient Bracer. Uh, let me just make sure everybody's equipment's doing good. Uh, Warrior's Rune, that's pretty good. The Luin Medallion, she has that. And you have the Radiant Fur. I mean, to be kind of honest, I might just want to equip the Silvite Ring to, uh... I mean, really, realistically, I should never even be getting hit by instant death, because Aika's gonna be using, uh... Aika's gonna be using her, uh, 
Delta Shield literally the entire fight. Like, unless she gets killed behind the Justice Shield, I shouldn't be killed during this fight. But we still have a whole dungeon to go through. Like, we still, we still gotta go through this entire dungeon. Do we have to go through this entire... Do we have to go through Shrine Island again? Looks like we do. Oh, damn. Oh, there... There's actually a cham in here? It's probably down there. Yeah, it's definitely down there. Hold on a sec. I'm just gonna quickly transition to my break scene, because if I try and move on screen... OBS decides to get fucky. Sorry about that. I had to, uh, tur I had to put something in front of the area that she was scratching at because, cat, I'll let you out after this. You'll, I'll let you out and I'll play with you and all that stuff. I literally went the opposite way. Oh, I didn't even realize I could go through. I, I can move right here. Okay, so it looks like literally all the areas here I just can't go through. Let me go get this cham real quick. Please evolve. Please evolve. If you don't, then I'm probably just going to give it the one that's going to evolve it. It did. Okay, good. Just immediately evolve it. Oh, wait, it didn't? Wait, I thought that sham said it was... That sham said it would just immediately evolve it. I feel chipped! Final dungeon time! Also, th uh, Seleth, again, thank you for letting me know that. Like, letting me know that was the final final fight, because I probably would have just been running around like a chicken without its head. I'm actually curious how Cupid will transform now. What the fuck are these things? Uh, you can Omega Cyclone. It probably won't kill, but might as well check. Ow. That kind of hurt. Nope, it did kill them in one shot. Damn, I kind of want to see how Cupel looked. Like, it's supposed to be like a giant claymore. Oh, hey, Vice leveled up. I doubt he's going to get to level 50 by the end of this. Like, maybe Ramirez will give him the 50. Hey, 
Don't get sassy with me. I'm giving you the scratch you want. To be honest, I'm just going to basic attack because I kind of want to see what... I want to see what Cupel looks like. Damn, that thing is big. But also, it didn't do jack shit. Quit trying to run. Let me just beat you. Uh, whoever gets their instant death skull wins. Okay. Ika, you win. Okay, I know no one's requested this, but... I know no one's redeemed this, but I'm gonna have to. Just because my cat's getting... A bit... Like, she, she's really trying to go at this door. Unfortunately, I can't let her out. So... Just, just, this, just like this one time. Hopefully. Uh, ooh, a Moonberry. Okay, so uh, I can get Enrique's ultimate move. At least I think that's... Yeah, that's that's his ultimate move. The Judgment. So you'll be... So, you can kind of see her in the background ha enjoying her treats. That's mainly because she was being kind of kind of annoying. Like, she just really, really want, wants to get out of here, but unfortunately I can't open the door because... What the fuck is that thing? Honestly, I couldn't be in a defend. Okay, good. I dodged it. At the very least, we'll be able to see what the Colosseum does. Nice! Did you just sub it? When did you have a giant dragon in the back of your pocket, Enrique? Ooh, these have ancient bracers too? I'm going to give that to some people who just have, like, substandard equipment. Oh, wait, can he, can he not equip it? Who can equip an Ancient Bracer? Oh, only I can, only I can Vice. Well, I mean, I'll give that to Ica. That's basically a better version of her, uh... Yeah, that's a better version of what she has on right now. Wait a minute, I need to look at my stream real quick. Yeah, when you said when when you said that, like I, I sort of had the inkling suspicion that it was the last the last fight, but I was just gonna like maybe I'm wrong, maybe the guy's wrong because it was wrong before. Yes, you can run. I don't care. Is 
guess I'm getting a ton of magic XP. Is this literally just the first room of this dungeon, or is this the dungeon? I have no idea. Yes, run. I don't care. Let me just blow you up if I can. Like, am I seriously that scary? Ow. Well, at the very least, one thing I'm I'm grateful for is like we we managed to get that done relatively faster than I thought. Like this is going a lot faster than my not hopeful thought process was giving giving it credit for. Like this is way fa like I thought we would have been in Ramirez's dungeon. We I thought we would have gotten the solstice by like hour six, but no, this is this is much faster. Uh, what's its element? Oh, it's ice. Why, but for some reason I think Royal Blade does more damage than Cutlass Fury. Oh damn, he got in a crit. Ow. You couldn't have just killed it. For some reason, I heard what sounded like Emma Brown's DeLorean. Like, I, I heard a car go, like, rev up really fucking quickly. I'm not sure if my mic caught that, but that was weird. actually seen those movies. I have to at some point, but I have so much more shit on my backlog. Like, the things I have in my backlog, right now I'm trying to get through Black Clover. Oh, another Moonberry. <laughs> I mean, no one else here can use it, but thank you. Um, I have to get through Black Clover. I need to, I'm watching Uzaki-chan, too, while that's premiering. Um, there's also... There's also a comic at Kill, like, I'm, I'm starting to watch that, too. Like, there's manga I'm reading, like, uh... For some reason, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. It's the one where, like, the chick just doesn't speak. Like, it's the one where, uh, Twitter is using it for, like, really cute moments. Oh, you... Fuck, you have drilled us. Also, I'm trying to read the fruit, Fruits ba Basket manga too, just because I exclusively watch the dub of Fruits Basket. And uh, that's on sort of on a hiatus right now, so I just want to catch up to it. Or rather, read past it, sort of. Is 
And then there's like a shit ton of other stuff I can't remember. And like there's a couple uh there's a couple anime movies I need to watch too, like uh, in a silent voice. I can already tell that movie's gonna make me fucking cry. That's gonna make me cry. I don't know why I head back. Head back. I think I think there was like one other way I could have gone, but no, I'm not even gonna bother with it. Uh, just basic attack and then just kill it with a special with a couple special moves by the end. Aren't you a dick? Oh, I, I could just use Judgment. <laughs> so, if Cutlass Fury somehow doesn't kill, uh, Judgment most certainly will. There we go. Yeah, so just head back. Also, let me heal real quick. But yeah, when it comes to stuff, I'm gonna be. Also, I figure out. I figured I should post this poll. Poll, why not? I don't know what you're doing, cat. You're getting weird. Uh, last time I looked at the poll, Owlboy and Tales of Symphonia were neck and neck. Um, yeah, they're still neck and neck. So if you haven't voted in that poll, that that's gonna be the uh, game I'm gonna be playing for the for the weekdays. Right now, I'm actually doing Path of Radiance. Uh, currently as as my weekend game. But if uh, Tales of Symphonia wins, then I guess I'm doing two, uh, two classic J JRPGs from the GameCube, both at once, which I'm perfectly fine with because Path of Radiance One is my favorite Fire Emblem game, and I still need to play Tales of Symphonia, even though I call myself a Tales fan, yet I've never played Tales of Symphonia. Oh, a Cham. I guess there's just a bunch of Chams in here. Like, there's still a ton of Tales games I need to play, and there, there'll obviously be games I'm going to be playing uh, on this channel. Like, I'm going to be playing Tales of the Abyss. Uh, if I ever get a PS3 and a PS3 capture card, like, a way to stream PS3 games, Tales of Zillia is most certainly going on that list. Because I've seen gameplay of that, I've seen the story and stuff like that. That game looks really fucking fun. When it comes to more le less popular ones, like uh, Tales of Graces or Tales of Legendia. Maybe. It's a big maybe. Also some of the, also some of the older ones, like Tales of Fantasia. Like, from what I've seen, th those games could be pretty fun, like the 2D combat system. It's basically a 2D fighter with RPG elements. Man, you are getting feisty, aren't you? Oh, I have to pick. Oh my god, you're seriously gonna make me do this. Well, I will, this is literally a guessing game.
Yeah, I think I need to switch off silver because I think everything in here is silver. Like, Enrique is about to level up in silver, but... Eh, fuck it. I'll be fine. Oh, don't worry, Maris. Uh, we finished up the PSL fights, but we are in the final dungeon. As you can see. This place is gonna give me a headache. I can already tell... Like, I can't even just recognize a pattern because I can't even tell where the fuck I am in this. And the map certainly doesn't... Okay, I'm literally back at the top. Look, a mini boss. Also, I figured I would show you this, Mara, since you weren't here when I got it. Uh, I got Enrique's ultimate, uh, ultimate ability. Like, ultimate super move, so, uh, let's watch it. Uh, of course he's blocking this turn. still did a decent chunk, even though he was guarding. Here Ow. Over there. Don't counterattack, please. Damn it. Heal up. That's good enough. Do I seriously need to write down where the hell this goes? Or am I going to have to look at the guide? Because this is literally just a teleportation maze. And I fucking hate teleportation mazes. Especially if you can't really tell where you get teleported to. Good, run. I don't care.
Sorry, I was just checking something. I got a text. Wait, did I get teleported to the same spot twice? At this point, I'm just... Yeah, fuck it. This is annoying. Okay. Yeah, this this place is kind of annoying, so I'm kind of just saying fuck it. Oh man. Am I even doing this right? Did I just... Did I sent back boom just kill everybody thank you I guess this was the, the exit. Nope, it wasn't. This was literally the... Wait. Was it? Yeah, th this was the area I went to before. So this was...
Oh, there was a door right here. I didn't even notice it. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? How much damage do I do? Decent chunk. Ow. Man, this thing doesn't like Fina. Yeah, I just use Pirate's Wrath. Actually, wait. I can use uh, Cutlass Fury and Judgment. So we'll both be able to do like over a thousand damage. Did it. Fun. Oh, hey, I can peanut leveled up. Kind of sounds like there's a rainstorm outside, which doesn't fill me with hope. So to be perfectly honest, like I do not want to lose all this progress. I'm going to make a safe state. Uh, Cutlass Fury, Omega Cyclone, uh, okay, I can't Omega Cyclone, uh, Lambda Burst, I can't Lambda Burst either, Alpha Storm? Okay, good, it isn't guarding, so it should die. From in reach judgment. That was easy. Okay, Vice did reach level fifty. In fact, I think he's about to get Sacralin.
Did I fuck up again? One sec. Oh, he's gonna get- I think he's gonna get Sakram. Which will be fine. Okay, this should make the fight really easy. Yeah, he's not even attacking me this turn. Yep, here he comes. Here he comes. This was the this was the bastard I'm looking for. Just focus up. He just summons a bomb out of nowhere? Okay, so you use a glyph of speed. You use Lunar Blessing, and you use Justice Shield. He literally just poops out a bomb. <laughs> like, he, like, he just pulls it out of his ass. He's faster, he's stronger, and now he has auto he has auto heal. Also, I just realized that I don't have Delta Shield, I can actually just use Incremus. He heals five hundred a turn. Oh no. Pipes of Doom. Oh great, that summons another one. Moons, give me strength. 
buff all of us, just get us in not death range. Thank God I put that on. Magic lamp. What the fuck does this do? You're fucking... Oh, fuck you. I'm not even sure if Delta Shield can block that. It says magic, so I assume so. So I guess I gotta use Delta Shield. Let me use Incremus just one turn. Like just get everybody back up. You better not use Magic Lamp literally the turn after I do this. Okay, so it just summons another one. This is getting out of hand. Let's try this. So now I gotta start just spamming AoE shit. Like, I gotta save up for Reign of Swords and Prophecy. This guy has gotten three crits in a row on her. If I didn't equip that War of Defense, she would be dead. Does this, does, do I block it? D nope, it doesn't. Okay. Never mind. So just don't bother with buffs this fight. At least cheap buffs. Because Magic Lamp just straight up removes all my buffs, so... So I have Aika and Fina just... God damn it. Okay, just save up for Prophecy at this point. Like, that's literally all I can do. Just save up for Prophecy and just go for it when I get it. Man, they love critting her. Let's try this. They love just basically attacking her. So yeah, I just gotta save up for Prophecy at this point, and then after that, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I 
think after this, I should have enough for prophecy. That aura of defense is pulling its fucking weight. Yeah, I'm gonna get Prophecy after this. Okay. This fight, I think I need to go get more of my drink. Yep, that did a number. That did a number, all right. Holy shit, that did a number. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep Prophecy spamming. I still just like how he just randomly poops out a bomb. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a turn off just to just to heal everybody back up. Use a Soccerling Crystal on Enrique. Uh, use a couple Soccerling Crystals. Heal everybody else up, and you just keep using Justice Shield. Please do not use Explosive Powder again. It'll be fine. Let's try this. Man, they do not like Enrique now. Okay, so I'm probably just going to have Vike just constantly attack him. Vice, not Vike. Prophecy. Nice. <laughs> nice. 
That does a shit ton, and I love it. I always love just spamming this shit. Ow. Kind of wish I could skip their, the focus animations, but they're quick enough. Sure, waste your turn, summon him. Like, I'm gonna kill him in two turns anyway. And you too. Yep, keep summon keep summoning summoning your posses. They're gonna they're gonna die anyway. I don't even know what the fuck he's throwing at me. That aura of defense has pulled its fucking weight. <laughs> Prophecy again. Fuck you! So that's what? Three moons that have that have crashed into this place by now? <laughs> Fuck you, Zovid Bane. No, it wasn't. It kind of was annoying. Yeah, he got Sakram a Sylph Seed. Zovid Bane, well, he got away. I guess that's a victory for us, kind of. He's on the one list, too, right? Next, next church we get, let's stop by a Sailor's Guild. We gotta get our gold. Nope. I'm not about to walk out of this place just so I can go turn in a wanted poster. Like, I just wanted to do that for the satisfaction of doing it. Like, I don't care about the fucking money. <laughs> I don't care if you run. Just let me blow you up.
another moonberry. Guess what? I'm not about to go out and get Gilder or Drachma. I don't know why you're giving me all these moonberries right now. It would have been would have made more sense if you say, oh, I don't know, gave me gave me everybody to have in my party. Like, of course, keep like the fort party limit, but like instead, just give me everybody to use. Like, I can just switch them out on the fly. I just realized, this game kind of pulled a Radiant Dawn. Except Radiant Dawn did it even worse. Ow. Damn it, it turned him to stone. Yes, we did. This looks like final boss territory. I'm using a healing item. I'm healing just in case. I doubt they aren't they aren't going to let me save before the final boss, but I'm not taking that risk. I don't see a save point. Hopefully it lets me save. <sighs> yep, this is this is like the final boss. So before I start this, I'm gonna go get get my, refill my drink, and uh, also I'm gonna go use the restroom because I've been holding it in all this time. So we'll be right back. We are definitely finishing this tonight. I don't care what. The, I don't care. 